Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Welcome to Wednesday. Uh, this is where we play new games on classic consoles at 60 frames a second without delays. <laughs> yeah, hopefully no delays. This is a restart of the show. Perfect. That's what we want to hear. Oh, that's exactly Can't, can't what get we want better than perfect. No. No, it's perfect. 100%. A plus. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, we had to restart, so you won't see that restart in the archives. Only when you watch live, you get bonus footage of yeah. a terrible out-of-sync video. That's what you guys always want. That's why you tune in live That's for the right. out-of-sync footage. <laughs> That's right. That's the good stuff. That's the good stuff yeah, you only get live. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, so we're going to play some games today. Three games. Yeah, One of which I've played before, and then two I don't know anything about, but they that's look right. like my jam. Yeah. Evil, oh, yeah. Evil that's Magicians, I, man, is my thing. That's why I put them on today. <laughs> All about the magicians. We're going to play Peril by VHZC. We're going game. to uh, make it to the end Okay. by, I think by legitimate or cheating. <laughs> you're going to play Peril, and I'm going to hang out is what will happen. But and, then, it, and then we'll and then I'll do some You're going to be magicians, all about the magicians. Which will be perfect, because I don't want to... I think we should just have you do Peril, because sure, the reality sure. is is you're going to be able to get to the end, and I'm not. Sure, but I can. Yeah. I might be able to help with some tactics. So yes, maybe my, yes. Maybe my, some be, color. Yes. <laughs> color some, commentary. Um, and we're going to be playing Evil Magician Returns 1 and 2 by Bite Knight. And they are right up your alley. Uh, I want to thank the uh, Twitch subscribers who help support the show. Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic, Dan AVC, MU Dan, Gredham's Ground Trooper, I supposed to Johnny WC23, Carl G, Croco2600, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, RC70, Repentless VG, Retro Salary Man, Spartan581, S. Ramirez2008, The D Train37, Welshman89, Thunkist, and Tiki Dan K. Wow. Um, some people didn't renew their subscription, so a little bit shorter, but it doesn't notify you. It's kind of a bad system. Yeah. You'd think they'd want money. Well, they can find out when we read it, and then it'll all, That's it'll right. all kind of turn out okay. You'd think Twitch would be like, hey, your subscription's running out. Maybe you want to look at it, but they just don't send you a notification, as far as I know. Um, you can support the show and subscribe for free. If you have uh, Amazon Prime, just link it to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe. You can support it. Um, also, make sure you follow and subscribe and click like on all the things on YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we're on all those. Because um, you so, have to be. Yes. <laughs> to, <laughs> to keep in, up in with 2020. everything. Uh, yeah. So all these things are all dispersed out. It's better than having just one, I guess. Yeah. And I think they're Even all different. We're tied they're to all different them. flavors, you know. They are. They're all Who do you have the most things. affinity for, do you think, if you had to pick? Like, if you had to pick one social media that you were stuck with, Me? personally, which one would you go um, with? Only f uh, Facebook, because it has the most diverse way of displaying information. You can set up events on there, which no other thing has. That's why I'm stuck with that one. Yeah. Um, you can put up pictures. You can put up text. You can put up video in any format. You could put long write-ups. That's true, and everything else is so limited. I mean, everything. And that's else what's is so fun. Limited. They're more fast mediums, like Instagram, Twitter, or just Inst like Instagram forces you to pick it, put up a picture, which is which is good because then there's also always something visual to look yeah. at, um, or a video, uh, and Twitter is really is good for text. So each of them has their their strengths. I mean, there's other other uh, platforms as well. Like yeah, TikTok is for fun. Yeah, apparently. It's I think I feel silly, like TikTok is videos. younger generation yeah. generally, and yes. Snapchat is apparently kind of starting. Like Instagram is really starting to swallow Snapchat. I was yes. I was teaching some high school kids, and so I got to get all the inside details on like, what do you guys do? Like, I was the old man. We're not going to tell you, old man, or you'll ruin it. <laughs> yeah, I was stay like, off my it, new in, new social media. And what's fascinating about kids watching these kids is what they're doing is they're taking photos of themselves and they'll send the photo with caption they don't really text which was really interesting so sitting around it the room like people a... were just like Ch -ch 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 -ch. and oh so was, there was no one was typing and that then... sounds inefficient oh. having to take a picture every time you want to send a message well, I, I guess you express your emotion they would most they would, feel so many people just being like are they just like, <laughs> are they? Like, as they're taking the photo of themselves. <laughs> Click, it was, we're here. Got to understand, there's nine people all just, like, <laughs> taking photos of themselves. It was really great. Oh, that's hilarious. Welcome to the new generation. Yeah, I mean, they mostly I think what spurs it is that 
the older ones that have been around for a while, the older social medias are getting polluted yes. and they're getting laden with ads and everyone's on it that they don't want on it. And it's not cool anymore. I asked so about Facebook and they were all like, oh, Facebook is so old. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, I guess so. Because when I was in high school, that was the thing. But, you know, and it's I'm... full of garbage. Yeah. Like it's nothing but people reposting misinformation and yeah. like, outright wrong like memes and and just and so hit, much just... politics friggin yeah. like movie reviews <laughs> just, you get to learn so much about people by what they what they send by out. their feed yeah, yeah. it's yeah, so you great get an insight into their brain that you maybe don't want what do you guys what are your favorite ones like what do you, what social media do you folks use yeah what do you post I'm on curious, the most? i know you guys are probably a bit older than me so it's neat to sort of get a cross section oh, yeah. of... they're my demographic I, yeah I, they're I, your see people. The, I see the numbers uh at least on uh youtube yeah i, I get the numbers of like, ages like what are the Facebook things you too? actually use every day that's yeah. a, i'd be really interested in that i think i'm personally uh youtube i think i, I log into youtube more than anything else actually these people probably use the atari age forums the most that may, that makes a lot of sense but other your like place. that's not that is social media but not mainstream social yeah media. that's a and i'm, I'm a facebook user too yeah quite i think a bit. probably everyone here and, and atari age that's, forums that's what that, i thought that makes a lot of sense um, so one of the other side things that I do for my main job, oh, this is good shit. Um, I made an announcement yesterday that uh, my film, uh, my documentary, feature documentary, is now available for pre-order on iTunes. Yes. It's on a, like a real platform that people can order and watch the film, which is amazing. Uh, we got uh, distribution from a major uh, distributor, which um, is Gravitas next level, man. Gravitas Ventures. And uh, now it's on iTunes. It'll be on a ton of other platforms, but we want people to pre-order on iTunes the film because there's metrics associated with that that go further on and help us out later. Absolutely. Um, and also, if people pre-order, it gets in the charts in iTunes of new releases in at least documentaries and if not all films. Um, so the more people that pre-order, the higher it goes in the rankings and therefore... Just normal people browsing will see it, and then yeah. it'll have more sales. So, if you guys are interested all in all in documentaries, um, or and I worked on it too. It was, that's right. It was we're both really really on fun, it. really really good film to work on, and I did a I kind of swooped in and did a bunch of post stuff. I was yeah. really there. I did the color correction, and then I I would say in some ways I kind of helped a lot out with the post, just organizing and getting all the things and yeah. working on getting the, you know, just, just the last translation of, of working with like the sound and bringing it all in. I didn't do any sound work, but it was the kind of like the management of it all. Yeah. A central hub for the post. Um, and, and it looks gorgeous. You see the color in there. That's, that's all Erlen's work. And we worked with a camera that was like a, like quite old because you started yeah. the project quite a while quite, before. So yeah, because it wasn't a four K. It wasn't shot on four K. It was no it was, documentaries take a long time to make. So I think in about two thousand and eleven, it was a camera that was like the top end. What are all the times at the top for? The times at the top. Oh, these times. There's a oh yeah, man. That's good. There's a local arcade um, in Vancouver. Uh, it's just outside of Vancouver, um, that uh, we go to. And I went there for my uh, birthday, and I go a bunch of other times. And these are the times that I have gone. I've yeah, gone I, five times. It seems like more, but it's... I went on uh, James's birthday, and it was one of the coolest things because I got to play some of the games that we've played on the show that have yes. been ported. So, uh, I'm Draconian, is this probably yep. not... Is it Draconian? What's the, is that the... It's Bosconian in the arcade. Ah, so I played... But Draconian in 2600 is... Land. But I played... I got to do that, which was very cool. And also just to see things... Just to see the, the medium was amazing because yeah. it's like it's elect, it's like electricity <laughs> bubbling at the top of a, a domed screen. Like, it's very <laughs> exciting to me. <laughs> which I know for you sounds like here I am describing and showing my age, but it was just nice to do that instead of sort of playing it on on, on James's television. It was yeah. just neat to see it in its true form. It felt like watching a movie on film, if that makes sense. It, it really that did feel that way. That is a very good, um, you know, uh, an analogy. Yeah. <laughs> of of what it is, it's because it's you know this is all digital. We're doing emulation right now. I mean, originally the Atari was played on CRTs like yeah. you saw in the arcade and a lot of people still do that because it's the way the system was set up for the Atari 2600 it's meant to draw on the the these lines and light up phosphor on the screen that 
that dims if you don't keep <laughs> yeah. lighting it up. Yeah, an arcade with one price admission sounds great. It is. Unless you're really good at the games. And when you're really good at the games, it's actually way cheaper to pay in quarters. <laughs> but if you want to just go through the arcade and play a ton of games that you've never played before, it's actually cheaper to pay one time. Yeah, I think I think they're just totems, you know, they're tokens. They're connected to the show, you yeah, know. Yeah, it's it's so part like, of this shrine of our of And if of you video panned games. up, you would see all of his games too and stuff. We keep saying this, but someday we're going to do a proper <laughs> I'll pan up real Yeah, do it. Uh, we'll do a proper one one day, but uh, But you can see all of his uh There's the Atari stuff and then some movie stuff and then with obviously a microphone behind the scenes. But yeah, see this is all of James's uh you know, and this is, uh, yeah, a lot of this stuff up here is our homebrew, yeah. I believe. Yeah, I could... a lot of, all the, the one on the on the right hand side uh, above Erlen's head is all the Atari Twenty Six Hundred homebrew in box. Ah, oh, there we go. Anyway, we'll do a proper one. Yeah, we'll do a proper one. I'll come in and do it sometime. But yeah, yeah it's really cool to go to an arcade too, because you just get to be around people that are actually playing games too, which is, I think what it was meant to be. It's a sad thing in some ways that gaming transitioned to sort of being one person alone in a room. Yeah. Versus it was probably so cool to sort of have that communal experience. And there was a couple of James's friends that wrecked. Like, <laughs> holy crap. Like, I went yeah. in and I was like, I think I'm doing okay. And some of these folks were just killing it. Like, it was it was, it was getting fairly competitive. And I was like, I'm going to just go and have a, <laughs> have a little drink now and just relax. Yeah, and I, and I get pretty serious in the arcade, too, because I have some local high scores. And yeah. I'm trying to I'm trying to best those high scores and try and move myself from number two to number one, um, so it's a really really fun time. Yeah. Um, at the arcade, it's it's a different experience, and they're playing '80s music and '80s music videos on oh, yeah. CRTs in the corner. And some good stuff too. Oh yeah. yeah. And, and again, my millennial fucking brain, I'm like, oh, this is like Stranger Things, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. Taking a, like this take a, my way in. Taking so, a time machine back to the eighties. Yeah. Like that's what that's how they've really set it up there. And you feel like yeah. you stepped Tanya out. Tanya had a killer time too. Oh yeah. We, yeah. we have so much fun there, so we'll have to go back again soon. Um so I had a nice comment on YouTube from oh, a wow. person named Brendan. Said a good show, James and Tanya, an interesting mix of homebrew games. Your show is practical. <laughs> playing and showing the games in action and your general demeanor on the videos is easygoing friendly and informative i find your videos relaxing to watch big thanks oh, wow that's great. man that's nice amazing message. brandon yeah. i mean a lot of people leave messages but you know once in a while i'll pick one out that uh, is really really nice yeah absolutely yeah, that's excellent um so we'll go on to the first game yeah, i think we'll that's it for in. news we're gonna get to peril um, and this is an update from the last time we played it. We played. He's it on... made it ten times harder. No, I'm just, I don't know if he has. Ugh, not... <laughs> it's so it's possible knowing. But we that... did say difficulty tweaks, so cosmetic changes and difficulty <laughs> tweaks, and you can pause with the uh, B and N switch. Yeah, that sentence Black terrifies me. VHZC <laughs> tweaks. tweaks. You never yeah. know with VHZC. Yeah. You never know. Oh, so I'm really looking forward to this. We're going to use save states. So yeah. we can get to the end just like we did in uh, uh, Ninja Sky. Yeah, it's the only in way. In Low Res World because his game games are challenging. And I also want to show everybody out there the whole game. Yeah, the whole gig. And I want to see how hard it actually is. I mean, I can only make it to a certain point. Time Machine. I don't know if I'll use time machine or save states. We'll see which is better. We'll see how we're doing. Because I like using save states where it's like, because time machine means that, oh, I've, I'm down to my last life. Let me rewind a bit. Yeah. But then I'm still down to my last life. I'd rather like save. Well, either either way, it works either fine. Way, it'll yeah. be. I guess it works. It's it's faster with time machine. Is yeah. what he's saying. Because you can just rewind and and get that last life over and over again. So let's load it up. Go to peril. I think I've got the graphic already. So this is from February uh, 2020, uh, obviously. February 17th. Whoa, so this is straight February off the 18th. press, man. Yeah, this is really new. He is from uh, Australia, I believe. So the time, the, the dates are always out by a day. That's okay. Yeah. 
Oh, let's get the frames per second off the screen. Get this all proper here. Oh, great graphic. It's good stuff. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh, I know what's going on. Uh, we have to fight fight the system today. Yeah, it's been an interesting, there's been some obstacles, but, you know, that's you just know, life. You work man. through them. There we go. That should work. Come on. Come on. There we go. Yay. Okay, Hooray. we're back. I love the little uh, beta VHC. Make sure we're not blasting your ears. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Down a bit on my end. Nope. There we go. Are you guys ready? But you can rewind very far back. That's, That's true. true. Yeah. yeah. So it's a, it's a lot easier. And then you don't have to be pressing the buttons to save and load. You just rewind. Okay. Oh, gargoyle cat. You really want to be kicked out? I can just... It's going to happen. I can just see it. Yeah. He's... Do you want me to do it? I'll do it. Oh, okay. Cool. He's more tolerant of me. That's true. Picking him up. Hi. Oh God! Such sweet little eyes I looking know. back. He being... blinks. He goes, "Hi, I'm so cute," and then I'm gonna cause trouble. Yeah, sorry. That's how he does it, man. He just knows <laughs> this creature. Yeah, we roast in here. Hopefully, it won't be too bad. Okay. So they start. They he he lulls you in You're with like, an yeah, easy screen. Oh, it's so. I like the little blur that happens. Oh, clear. That's new. Am I wrong? Uh, the blur I can take off. Because uh, I, think... I don't think there's any phosphor. There's any... Uh... Ah, cool. Yeah, but I the clear, that's new. I think. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think he's changed it uh, from that. Okay. Um, so the faster you clear... <laughs> bipixel for sure, man. Yeah, bipixel. He's causing trouble. I love this sound so much. Oh, yeah. He's, he's got the graphics down. He's got the sound down. He knows what he's doing. I've said this a million times, but it's a real beautiful sign. And, like, you know, just the fact that this... What What is this? Is this a 4K game? Oh, God, no. No, what's the... Oh, God, no. What's the... What's the high? 32K. 32K, cool. It's a, bit, it's a fairly it's large a fairly, game. Yeah, cool. But he's still able to squeeze quite a bit out of that I 32K. I think the design just is so... I love the 2D kind of style. It's just so nice, you know? Mm-hmm. And he has such a... I always say this every time. He's got such a variety of, of things in the game and, and variety of obstacles, style of obstacles. And the way he utilizes the whole screen oh, yeah, in multiple ways. Oh, God. That was terrible. I'm going to go over here. No. Uh -huh. Do you want to reset? <sighs> That's how you do it. That's very yeah. cheesy. <laughs> it's okay. But I was being stupid. Yeah. Um. Because you really should watch the whole screen and what's happening with the screen before you just jump into it and go, oh yeah, I can do it. I'm, I'm, I'm certain I know the answer to this question, James, but I yes. have to ask it. Yeah. What is your opinion about like astrology, like all that world? Do you, are you, do you, what do you, what do you think? Do you think that I live the, my life the, by the, it? The date that you are born and the time is. Do you think has any, of the, any relationship to anything? Position of the moon and and all the that star stuff? and the uh, planets in our solar system. I uh, know. Um. It's uh, a bit, uh, a bit silly. I am. Um, I am um, bringing it up because I was, I was cruising on the internet, as you do, and then there was this one thing that was like, get your like weekly astrology thing, and they were sort of sending me this all this stuff. Oh, that was close. And so then I was like, okay, well I clicked on it because like why not? And the hilarious part about this website was then it had this questionnaire of everything it was like what is your what's your gender male female non-binary right. where were you born all this stuff and then it asks you like are you single what are your dreams and hopes and it was like this long <laughs> survey and, and i was like wait a second like that's kind
kind of like showing up to a psychic and the psychic first being like, so tell me everything that there is to know about you and then I'll tell you about you. It's just, it was so oh, ridiculous yeah. because I'm like, well, so if I fill out what's what am I looking for in life? It's like employment, new love. I'm like, obviously then my astrology is going to tell me about my new love because I told the algorithm and it was so many questions. It was maybe 15 questions. That's, that's giving away your hand. I mean, I thought that was the because, silliest thing of all time. Because it's online, they have to do that because in a, um, an actual person, somebody in person is like an expert um, reader of yeah. people. Like they don't read the cards, they read you. Exactly. And they're able to tell you about you and they're tricking you into telling you things that you didn't, you don't think you revealed to them, but you actually did. Absolutely. And just to, just but from body language, from... Mostly from body language and reactions to things. Oh, I can't shoot that. You have to avoid it. But I didn't. <laughs> oh, well, I'll deal with four lives. Yeah. Five pixel. Oh. Oh, yeah, but that one. just seemed like the funniest thing of all time to me that I was like, man, I don't think it counts if it like you do a big ass survey because I mean there's so many personality profiling systems that are actually very accurate. There's the ocean system, which is right. the most reliable one, and then there Meyer Briggs is like, eh, I mean yeah. it's it's but it's an interesting people love Meyer Briggs. It's an interesting system. There are some some real like I don't think you should like live life by it. But that's certainly more accurate than astrology because it's a summation of, of behavior and behavior does have some relationship between each other. But I don't know. But that's the thing is it's like so essentially you're doing a personality profiling system then. Yeah, yeah. Which is. That's how I use the TM too. Oh. <laughs> Time machine. Time machine. Yeah, yeah, man. It's just how it goes. It's fine. I mean, we're doing it on for a purpose to get to show all the levels. Absolutely. Um, I mean, I love this game too, but I'm not 100% perfect at it, right? I remember this. And it's and this thing is a different thing. Trying different. to show it at like, yeah, you got to do it like right when it's underneath you. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Boom. This one's not hard, yeah. it's just tedious. One of my friends, um, Whoa. who's a girl, she always told me, she's like, she's, yeah, you ever go on a date with an engineer? <laughs> they'll, they'll talk about Meyer Briggs. Oh, really? Because <laughs> she said it's like engineers way into <laughs> trying to relate to people. They're like, let's science our way through uh. personalities. <laughs> Which I was like, that, I, at, at first I was like, that's What's probably that? not true. Is that not supposed to go that way? It was weird. What, did, what happened? I went to the right. I mean, there's a whole maze to go through. But I went to the right instead through that opening. Do you think there opening. was maybe... that? Will, I might go back just to sort of yeah. test and see what's up with that. That is the advantage of this. See? There's like... I could go all the way to the bottom. Let's let's explore. Let's yeah. find out. <clears throat> but that, that's the easy route. So why would you do the easy route when there's some something going on here, right? I guess I could have gone to... Um, like yeah, as soon as she told me that, I was like, that made me laugh. I was like, there's probably some truth to that. It's trying to, like, scientific a way through. <laughs> um, you know, it's certainly pseudoscience. There's no question about it. Oh, yeah. I, I find that categorizing people into groups based on arbitrary things. I mean, Myers-Briggs is a little different because it is based on That's weird. You. So why would you go through this, uh, why would you go through that maze? That's weird. Instead of just popping over and you get to here quick. I feel like that might be, uh... Hmm. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what... How that. Yeah. Hey, VHC. Hey, VHC. Dude, Welcome. we got a question for you. Did, did... <laughs> <laughs> we just went through... Like, there was a screen. It was like the, I don't know, 10th, 12th... Do a quick 12th. rewind because we can always just oh, go to the right. Like That's true. So... This is interesting, man. On this screen, at the top, there's a path to the right. Which we can just go through and beat the level, or we could go through the maze. So did is I this, miss something? Is this a feature? Is this intentional? See, this one goes... Should I have shot something down here? Like... Is there like... Is a... there like extra lives? Because... Oh, he says, that's supposed to be a secret, but I forgot to put the ball there. Oops. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no worries, man. I'm happy. Oh, we... That's why we're here, man. Okay. That's good that we showed it. Yeah, okay. I'll remind you to put the ball there. Don't worry that's about a, it. That's, that's how would you even find that out? Would you be able to shoot through it? Is that that's how you, probably the, the it's deal? It's like oh, I it. can shoot through this wall. 
Yeah. Oh, maybe you shoot the wall and it disappears. Exactly. That's, that's, what, that's what I'm what thinking be, uh, yeah. the whole whole dealio is. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I think personality profiling business also is a snapshot of a, of a specific moment in time. When people it get is. kind of, um, I think, silly about it is when they have this attitude of, this is who I am. <laughs> it's like, well, no, this is on this particular day and these particular moods. And also, like, personality profiling is so notoriously, um, you often have a personality you wish you had, and you right. will often answer questions uh, more based off of who you wish you were than who you are, which makes well, it less useful, too. You should be answering it uh, honestly to get an honest uh, evaluation. And, and also, some of them are impossible to answer. It's like, do you get your energy from being around people? Or Ooh. do you... See, there you go. That's how you do it. That's how you find a secret. <gasps> there we go. I no. think we got that last time. I think so. Um, and and the, and... Oh, nine. Wow, that's cool. It's good that it's stacking. I remember there was a time... I think it only goes up to nine. Is there anything up here? <laughs> oh, that's... Uh, we're using Time Machine. That's, yeah, uh, it's cheating. But it's... we wanted to show the full game. You're... Um, you're you're I'm doing well. I mean, kind of. You're you're. It's just we want to make sure that we can show off the whole deal. Yeah. We don't condone that uh, for your personal no. playing experience, but it's for the purpose of the show, so that way people watching it's all right. can get everything. Oh, that's cool. You got to hit that little. Um, yeah, this is a great boss. Cause last yeah. time he was disappointed that we didn't get to the spider, and I was like, well, yeah, man, I, I do want to show it off. We're gonna get to the spider, my friend. It's happening. Cause yeah, you said that was one of your favorite design things that you ever did, if I imagine. Yes, I believe that you did say that. I could be totally wrong, but you're totally wrong. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. I once went on a terrible date oh. with. Um, Somebody was really into that kind of stuff, astrology and everything like that, and the hokey religion and stuff, and uh, it went really terribly, as you can imagine. <laughs> um, you, that is not a personality type that mixes with you, man. <laughs> because I was willing to get past it and just go on to talk about other things, but she really wanted to talk about it, so I got into it and started debating her about oh, yeah, the man. legitimacy of... Um, dividing everybody up into 12 categories of the astrology signs, um, which is ridiculous. And she's like, oh, that's such a Leo thing to say. <laughs> or if yeah. I don't know what you're talking about, but you, that's, that's the... <laughs> it, it was, it was terrible. It was, it was a very, very bad date. Needless to say, there wasn't a second one. Yeah, well, for some people, that's a real belief system. <laughs> it is. And, and if you, it's the same thing. Like if if you're very, very, very um, uh, into whatever you're into, it's important that your partner matches. So imagine for her, that was a deal breaker. Oh yeah. And then, yeah. and then I that's... mean, for me too, I wouldn't be able to to deal with that. Somebody who would uh, base their life around that kind of stuff. Um, I mean, having a friend who's like that, that's probably fine as long yeah. as they don't introduce that into every single conversation. <laughs> yeah, every moment. Well, just... let me relate it to this. They're giving like... you books on friggin'. <laughs> what? Yeah, you just... Did I... Oh, you just popped up too fast. Oops. Was I supposed to shoot that thing? No, you're, 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 you're doing the right thing. Oh, you're just, okay. You just, um... You just, it's just you just bounced up too high. Oh, I should have to shoot three times. Yeah. Three health. Yeah, totally cheating, by the way. Totally, Absolutely. totally. Like, unapologetically, because... We just want to show off the game. Oh, it looks like there would, would be something in that little space. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's for our future. I... That thing has three hit points, yes. Yeah, yes, yes. thanks, man. Oh, yes, this is Stella. Yeah. Not, uh... Oh, yeah. Not that. hardware. Not actual hardware. Yeah, you're right, though. It's this. a totally different thing. If it's your partner versus um, your friend. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a different level. Because you have of... to live with that if, if it's your partner. Yeah, it's like you, you, you if you're at a, like, a crossroads in your life and they're pulling out astrology books, that's you're not like, your ah. thing. If that's your thing, man, great. Yeah. You know, there's, no, there's no issue with that. Because I think we all think you need... you made this easier. We all need a longer. belief system of some kind, and, and if it works for you, it works for you. I have no judgments. It's just, you, but you get to decide, thankfully, what system you work with. BHC, did you, did you widen these? Because this is way easier than last time. I remember last time, this was brutal to get through those. Yeah. I, I'm sure he widened those. Anyway, sorry. 
Um, yeah, yeah, you have to, like, your belief system dictates how you react to things. Yeah, I mean, who you are. And... It's mostly your values and your value, you, your inherent values. You're finding a belief system that works with those values yeah. and kind of adopting that rather than taking on a belief system and going, I think I'm going to go with that and then totally change who you are. Yeah. It's not, it's not really how that works. And that's, I think, a real trap for some people in relationships really is just sort of forgoing themselves for I have to go this the thing. Corner? Go in the top corner? Is there room in the top corner? The top right. You see if you top right of the bottom one, you could totally do. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's probably the move. I'm clear and I'm gonna get that, that thing. Burp, 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 burp. It's got so really good. appropriate sounds. Ooh, oh, it's nice that it no. stops it too. That's really good. <laughs> that is uh, very nice. It's like, oh, it's your reward. I guess nine's a max. That's good to know. Uh, I gotta remember these. These you have to move with, which is not too bad, but it's a lot of kind of wrapping your brain around it. Yeah, this is a nice one because it's there's just there's so many layers of, of challenge with this. Because you have to move through it as it's moving and then follow it. This is laser mode right here. <sighs> die, die. Nope. No, there's no. <laughs> yeah, it's not too bad. You just have to move really quick around a corner, which is not yeah, easy to do. It's more about being patient, I think. Yeah, it's so easy to. Yeah, I am rewinding every single death. <laughs> Yeah, it's being very precise, but also patient. Not rushing too uh, yeah, much. This is Prince of Persia style. That's what this is. There's a red spot in the thing. Oh! There is. Oh, is that like a hint? Yeah, let's rewind. And this is the benefit of, let's try to like show off all the all the details. The red spot. Oh, oh. there it is. Oh, I can I can stay on the screen and still, still get it. There we go. Oh, oh it said C, thank you. Giving away the secrets. That's lovely. That is great. You lose it. Oh, oh nice. God. I mean, I don't need them, but that's well, it's, awesome. It's, well, the thing about this is that um, this is much easier, m much more possible to do legitimately now. Because yes. now that you learn, because these are kind of like, this really makes the game... Achievable. Yes. <laughs> but, you know, I assumed that was just a graphical glitch. Yeah. But... Um, that's it's that's really it's nice good hint. detail. Oh, and then takes you back to the same screen, which is like yeah, it's clear. Very nice. Is this a work in progress or a finished game? You didn't, you don't need it when you cheat. Yeah. This seems to be actually slightly. Whoa. It has a pattern to it. I don't think I. I was gonna seen say this, this one. I've never seen this one before. That doesn't mean that it's this necessarily new, but brutal. What's cool is it's not doing the exact same thing. So no, because the timing. Oh my god. This. You need those three lives now. Okay, I'm just gonna have to run in there. Oh, that's not too bad. Oh, never mind. It goes right to the top. I didn't really think about that. I think the top middle is. Oh, it's not always safe, but. Yeah. Yes. It's not too bad, but you still have to. It's one of those things you have to wrap your mind around. Yeah, that's the hard part. Yeah. Pong indeed. Yeah. That's awesome that you can include like a self playing Pong. As a level. <laughs> Imagine the original programmer is seeing this, man. This is so cool. Oh, yeah. Okay. Skull mode. And it's great that he's able to reuse graphics. This um, is a very intelligent approach. In, in different ways and on different levels so that you save save memory but still be able to expand. Yeah, I was um, um, working with the Whoa, high, these close. high school students um, uh, over the... Oh, this week just just one of my one of my jobs is I'll help them out because they have this really nice film program um, at, at the high school over here oh, awesome. and it's always fun working with ah oh, spider oh, that's awesome looking oh did I hit him or he's just mad well that means he's going away but it's so interesting because watching how oh, students snap. work creatively is always fascinating and so ball. like some of them were just staring at the editing console just not even doing anything because they were oh. just like no i need to figure out the perfect 
thing. And oh, you're like, no, well, no, no. put something in, you know? And especially when it comes to sound design, they were just like, I was like, guys, anything is is better than nothing. You just staring at this thing, and that's where sometimes oh reusing God. graphics is, or, or tokens and stuff is, makes so much sense. It's like, if you've already done the work, why not put it in, see if you can keep it, and then you can always replace it later. I'm not playing very defensively. It's because you know. It's because you know you can time machine it. <laughs> it's beautiful design, though. I can see why this is one of your favorite ones, man. Yeah, I have to play more defensively. Like, yeah. just avoid the bullets and deal with whatever. Because you've got, it's not too threatening if you're it's like. It's like the old kind of like rule is just don't get hit and don't die. Yeah. And actually, sometimes just with that approach, you can. Do you a can lot. make it through. It'll take longer, but it's. But worth at least it. you'll like won't you can survive. <laughs> it's like the old. I mean, offense is the best defense sometimes, but not in all not games. This, not this. Some yeah. games really you need to play very defensively. You Especially know? in shooters. Like, you should just avoid the bullets and and kind of shoot the things in your peripheral. Don't don't try and go for the things, because the bullets will kill you. Like in this one, the bullets will get you. What do you think about um, uh, getting uh, bachelor's degrees in, in 2020 games? Uh, do you think it's, like, worthwhile? Do you think certain programs make more sense? You have to do it very strategically. You have to look at the career that you want to get into. And you have to say, well, can I do it without it? Um, can I get the equivalent in real-world experience? And will they still accept you? Yeah. Hooray! Yes! Um, but if you want to go into a career, and that career says, you have to get this certificate, you have to get this diploma, or you're definitely not getting in, because every single person that applies has that diploma... And yeah. There's no equivalent experience. Yeah, it's like they won't even look at you. It's yeah, like, it's that like you just then it's then you have to get it. Yeah, there's it's... no choice. But then you also have to wager the cost of getting it versus, and also the time that it takes to get yeah, that. Yeah, and the financial investment. And also the financial return. So if you're more into it because you love that end thing, you're not about the money as much. Then yeah, there that's what you're gonna do, regardless. Yeah. But if you're more about, oh, I'm getting into this because it's because it makes money, then you just lay out every possible thing that you could possibly get into as a career and say, and you work it out mathematically at that point, if yeah. you don't care one versus the other. Um, was, so that's my stance on it. It I makes mean, sense. Luckily, was... we're in a career where it's what you do that counts, Correct. not your background is like, oh, we went to this school. Nobody would say... I don't think I'm going to see that movie because well, he, that did, guy... he didn't go to VFS, or, yeah, or Vancouver didn't... Film School. So, you know, it doesn't really count. Like, the movie's not great yeah, because it's... he doesn't have this educational background. It's In more, arts, more it doesn't count More of a meritocracy, like which is nice, you know? Yeah. I mean, and, I mean, there is some um, who you know kind of things going on. Well, this is very familiar. Wow. We've done, that, we've done this level before, VHZ, see? <laughs> this is the... Of course, that doesn't help me. You're gonna from get dying. some more help. Because I was just reflecting on that with these kids, because that was what every one of them was That's asking me in about too. They're just like right. But it's that also that thing too, where it's just like there's an age, I guess, where you're just trying to figure out like who am I gonna be, what am I gonna do, all that stuff. And, and when you're young and in uh, post secondary, there's a lot of those people who are just kind of trying stuff. Yeah. It's like, is this gonna work for me? Do I even like this? Um, and it's crazy too, though. To oh, that, now oh, it's different. This is cool, man. What is cool? Oh my god. Okay. You have to take. You have to break down these screens. It's like I can get over to that point. I don't have to worry about this plant shooting things or whatever. Yes. The big eye. I don't have to worry about that little column yet. I just need it's to get just over step there. Step by step, you know. But if you look at it as a whole, it's like, whoa, I'm dead. But no, it's, it's not that bad. Like that was close, and I should have been better at it. But. That, see, it's not. It's that not bad, bad once you once you sort of like. It is a puzzle. It's kind of like an action puzzle game almost. Oh you yeah, know, is how I would. You have to describe figure this what business. action you have to do to get through it. Okay, shots don't block, which is good. Well, something went crazy up there. Yeah, for a I'm second. gonna keep an eye on that. 
Oh, I think it's just the screen's flashing. Like, oh. Just the all the whole screen. Yeah. Wow. It's, it's not too bad. Not too bad. So that doesn't go away though. Mm. <laughs> oh, but it closed off. Oh, it stopped. Okay, yeah, you're not meant to go back there. No, there's no going back. Ten or so more levels. Levels, yeah, it's just letting us know. Yeah, this is all. This new. is um. I mean, that last level was new too. Yeah, this is. This is. I. I'm gonna have to dodge that. And keep moving, and keep dodging it. Oh my god. Yeah, this is getting to be a this. bit challenging. Yep. Okay. 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 Oh, oh that's hilarious. Oh no. Pathetic. Yes, okay. Get, I thought that get, was going to be get, way get, harder. Get, get, get. <laughs> that's hilarious. Love it. Love the me I love the mechanics in VHC so games. So good, man. Because you never know what to expect. Even something as fun as like, oh, I just got to shoot it across the screen. <laughs> and then it falls. Oh, that's so. Good. Love it. Love it. Oh, geez. whoa. At so least the, nothing so kills you if you don't move on right when you get into a level. Like that's nice that you don't. So the very uh, bottom is free. Um, interestingly, this the the bottom left. I wonder how we can get there. You have to go out the screen and then come back again somehow. Yeah. This one's not too bad. Oh. This is a bit challenging. Ooh, damn yeah, it. This is much. I should have analyzed it a bit better. I think I know. Go up this side. Damn it. Damn it! Oh, here. oh no. Rewinding, sorry. I've never really used it until uh, Penalt. I think we used it in Penalt? No, so some, I don't think we, we, else. we didn't use it too much in Penalt. We just... I'm going to go up this side this time. Damn it! Damn it! Oh, no. Stupidity! I think I should go up this side, but I have to follow really closely. Yes, yeah, that's the way to is. do it. And then I follow really closely again as this goes down. Oh, I think you gotta hug the pillar on the left. On the left, so you kind of have to go left and then left. I think that's my impression. Oh, so I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, that's. I'm the a way. bit faster than them. Yeah, so it's just I like a matter up. of leaving at the right time. It's not now much I, time. I, Not really, it's tricky. Down the middle. Yeah. Damn it! <laughs> it is down the middle. Yeah, it's so close. Need to go for a little bit further. This game's a lot easier with time machine. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> it is. Jesus. That is the because I'm sorry, Beach. Let's see that we're cheesing your game in this way. Yeah. We, we just want to show off the whole dealio. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah now right it's... now it's the right hand side. It's tons of time. <sighs> uh, boss. Whoa. Nope. Nope. Just gotta shoot him. Without getting hit. Got him. Ah. I almost might just chill in one side because it disappears. Oh no, I guess you can't because it, it just. Yeah, adjusts. chill all the way over to the left. Or like bottom? No, it's random, so you just have you just to. Gotta, you just gotta play the game. Yep. Let's stay up top and then move into it. There we go. Whoa, I, think I you love have to that go sound. Back. Yeah, some great sounds in the game. Die! Oh, a switch. Nice, new mechanic. Yay! Okay, that's cool. Oh, time limit. Nice, okay. I gotta go quick. It's like rapid fire. Okay, I just gotta go. Time switch. Now, how would I do this first? Let's see. Yeah, 
go all the way to the bottom, and as soon as that goes by, I'll go. Okay. Oops. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now that is just uh, right, isn't it? I like this room a lot. This is cool mechanics. Yep. I almost got hit there. One, two, three. Wow, it's really a yeah, short gotta, amount of time. You gotta just go. Almost. You gotta go. I only have one life left. Uh oh. That is not enough lives. Okay, good, we got it. Wow. Just kind of luck, though. Oh, I'm thinking that now this is where we'll find out about that, uh, that other level. Oh, cool, like, beat sound. Damn it. I might... <laughs> oh, I'm a bit. I don't... There's a bit of a problem with this level. As soon as you shoot the thing, there's a... Pause, like you can't move. I kid. I'll show you. Interesting. Like as soon as you shoot it and you're moving, you can't you can't move anymore. Which is deadly if you miss. Yeah. Can you see that short pause? It's hard. It's I hard imagine to if see. you feel it, you'll feel it more than see it. I suspect. Yeah. It's like the whole screen pauses. Like the whole game almost pauses. Yeah, it's hard to see, but you can feel it. So I might want to look into that VHC. It's not crippling, but it's it's jarring that it restricts you from moving. Yeah, it's a little hard because there's not as much room here. <laughs> I want more lives. <laughs> yeah, this game is going to be challenging with playing it... Um, there's a patience, this one. I'm sure there's a pattern, but I... I'm just you just wait? You just wait till it disappears and go. Because it doesn't... It's always timed enough. Yeah, and we've can... already... It's neat because it's like a little uh, little foreshadowing, oh, you know? There. Yeah, you can see it coming. If you if you look, it's like, oh, I will have to go through that. Oh, boss time. Oh, God, Pong boss. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. This is hugely defensive. Yeah, this is just don't get hit, James. Yeah. The middle seems to be the place to be, though. Oh, yeah. Always give yourself as much room as possible. See, that's hard when it's going the diagonal. Oh. Damn it. I need some lives. Damn! Actually, I'll take it down to where I was two lives. Just before two lives, because I had to... Might as well take it, take advantage of of how many times I've hit him already. See that when it's when they move fast and it's diagonal, it just sweeps the whole screen. It's gonna go fast. See? Hard. Damn it. Also, right now I'm hating my YouTube algorithm. Like, anything <laughs> that it recommends me, I'm like, ugh. It's just, it's got me pegged as someone that I th think I'm not at this point. <laughs> so it's just sending me these endless supply of things. I look at like half the screen and I'm like, oh. Crap, you can no. say I'm not interested and that'll clear it up. Oh, I got it, because I got a... On the little dots, you just go, I'm not interested in this. Good. And then you say I am interested in the ones you actually are. Um, or just watch something the, else. The one I made, yeah, the, I made a big it. mistake. The biggest mistake I made in the YouTube algorithm was this guy who talks about the steroid cycles of actors. And I was like, that's interesting just to hear he was giving his input on what he thought these. And then now it's the broiest oh stuff of all time. <laughs> it's just unreal. Oh. The, the direction that it has me going. It's just like, and it's I'm like, oh my God, I got to get out of this hole. 
<laughs> it's, it's funny that that's like a 21st that's century a problem that it you're is. stuck in like a YouTube hole. It's like, and this is not me. These roided up guys just talking about. And what what's I didn't know is that apparently steroids makes you lose your hair because oh. excessive testosterone. So right. there's endless supply of just like hair, like products to like keep your hair. And I'm like, how is this my life that I go into YouTube and it's like, oh. does... I don't even know, like, some random name is, it's just like, this one, does this make you lose your hair? You can keep your hair if you... This level makes me lose my hair. It does, man. I should have been rapid fire the whole time. Yeah. Because there's... Best screen so far, hell yeah. This is brutal! Of course, I'm rewinding to spot what I, where I die. You know what would make this next level? It is already it, is next level. Is if you, is it's every, brutal. If you shot the like Pong thing and it fired it back at you and killed you, that, oh. would, be, that would be the greatest challenge of all time. BHCNC, if you wanted to truly destroy your players, if your own bullets can kill you by hitting that pallet, that would be the greatest. This would be the hardest level that ever. That would be on extreme mode. Like... I'm yeah, maybe not being in the middle. No, it gives you the most room. Like he says, it's more dangerous. He suggests that the middle is actually more dangerous than other areas. Okay. Well, at least we can try something new. I mean, that's what's sure. important. I have no idea how many times we've hit this guy. Like, oh man, I, I think you killed him. I guess because you can rapid oh, fire, right? Yeah. But it's. But yeah, feeling misunderstood by the algorithm. You know? Okay, like killing it is faster if you're on the left or Makes right. Makes sense because it's like you it's can still get rapid hard fire as going. Hell. That wasn't the last boss. There's more. <laughs> I'm so stoked at the bottom and then wow. left, right. Oh, like down here. Yeah. And then just avoid, avoid, avoid. Oh, thanks yeah. for some tactics. And that's all. That Is would that help. it? Oh, he said that, oh. Might, that might be it. Might be it? Okay. Yeah. Well, now we're back to the back beginning. To the... Oh, wow, man. that is okay. the last boss. That's, so far right now. That's good. Oh, so now if you wanted to keep your score going. I Yeah. I'm, it, I'm sure it'll be different when the game is over. You'll have, like, the next thing you get in. It's like a submarine. Yeah, and then we'll to, get to, to go find to his a, next game. A rocket ship to Mars. That's right, it goes into space this time. Hey man, any game is better in space. <laughs> I have a rule. I have two rules in life, James. Oh, I have the bullet, but I don't. Okay, rule yeah. one is every game is better in space. <laughs> yes. Rule two is every movie is better with a robot. Imagine the notebook, but there's a robot in it. It's a better it's movie. Yet. Or have it. Imagine like those terrible Valentine's Day oh, like yeah. things. Imagine just jazz it up with a robot. Just throw a robot in; it's better. Jet <laughs> <laughs> see amazing. That it definitely is the hardest boss. Oh, yeah, hands down. I mean, man. that hint helped a lot, but it would Thank still be very, very difficult. You can uh, loop and increase difficulty. You, so you, true. You could make everything just like a little bit faster, or make the helicopter bigger. Ooh, the helicopter bigger, just. A little bit bigger. Yeah, because that would wreck everything. Because then you'd have taller. to. Because then you'd have to like your timing would be totally Way off. Yeah. Could you imagine? That would be next level troll. <laughs> Stop the noise in the background. Excellent. Oh my god, man! What a great what a, game. What an absolutely killer game. I'm glad we went all the way through it, but I don't know if I could. I even with the extra lives, I don't know if I could play it. All the way through. Yeah, it's cool to be able to with show a, it off, but with a lot of practice, eventually. Well, that's what makes this an old school game is that the the challenge difficulty makes it so that it's got more more mm -hmm. stuff to do. I always felt that way, you know. It's like when, when you have less levels, if the levels are harder, then you get more value out of your game. Yeah. And versus nowadays, it's like easier but more stuff. <laughs> and I think that's a that's a not a great model. I think there's a nice yeah. harmony between the two for sure. There is, yeah. Um, it's an exhausting game, but don't don't think people can bear the loop. Yeah, the loop, I, yeah. I, I, once I, once through is definitely enough. 
Yeah, and, 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 you know, give us a reward. Uh, <laughs> a reward. Yeah. Yeah. Just like in uh, Ninja Sky, you get into the helicopter. I love that. So maybe you can, like, if you have an idea for your next game, just have him get into you whatever. You gotta do it. Or he gets out of it and he becomes a ninja again. Or, or you know, something something, something, something like neat, that. Yeah. you know? Very, very awesome. Awesome game, game indeed. So we're going to go to the Evil Magician Returns. Oh, shit. Part one. Part one. And that's on you. So it's great that, that he choice. returns once and then returns again. And Yes. It's like Taken 4. <laughs> so this... It's called Bad Parenting. Is an, a, a sequel to Adventure. Which is the big game in... Uh, was that Ready Player One? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not the sequel. This, this is uh, an homage kind of... Uh, it's not done by the same person, obviously. Um, this was first posted uh, February 17th, 2009. It's by Todd Holcomb, a.k.a. Bite Knight. This build is from March 13th, 2010. It's a 16K game. Other games he's made. Uh, CG Adventures, Curse of Blackbeard's Skull, DKRK 2600 he made with Ice Posta. Ah, oh, man. Evil Magician Returns, Evil Magician Returns 2, and Pirate. And you can download this in the Atari Age forums, and we have never played it before. I'm very excited for this. So it says, uh, you can jump into it. Based on the game Adventure, uh, he made four runs of 20... Uh, so we've got different levels here. We'll probably just do uh, level one first. One feels right. So probably press a button. Yeah. Oh, cool. It's your little dude. Just like an adventure. There's the staff that you need to get. So I do I just... I don't go. think you can open the gate yet. Okay, and I don't die if I hit the wall. Thank no. <laughs> no it's you not just, peril. You just never know. Uh, I mean, there's some RPGs that do that, and it's pretty yeah. rough. Everything's deadly. It's all poison. <laughs> okay, so I got a key. Was Penultimate the award somewhere? Uh, I was I don't it? remember seeing it. Well, it would be in a work in progress. It's the only thing it could be qualified for. And if it was made in 2018, it would have been in that work in progress. It must have been nominated for work in progress, either this last year or the year before, if it came out that it, this earlier is your than favorite that. Kind of game, James. You should be able to check. Yeah, I hate mazes. That's why it's on you. The mazes aren't too bad here. There's only a couple screens of them, but you just have to remember how to get through them. Um. So he posted February seventeenth, two thousand nine. Uh, hey guys, I've been lurking here for a while and decided it was time for me to make a game. Adventure has always been one of my favorites. So this game is based on the evil magician mentioned in, mentioned in the adventure manual. The premise is that his dragons are now dead. So he and his apprentice have returned and captured the golden chalice. The evil magician, the red wizard, has the ability to shoot fireballs. His apprentice, the white wizard, does not. There's the white wizard. Oh, he just... Follows you to the next screen. Jesus, okay. Is that it? Rip? Rip. Oh, it looks like you got some stuff. Did you get, some, get stuff? some stuff? Got key. Whoa, okay, and he's following. Well, that's the that's the evil magician. That's, oh, you're... Whoa, you just dodged that. I would... Yeah. Oh, wow. What okay. you want to do is wait there and then go. Yeah. Until he was almost near you. Holy crap. Okay. Yeah, yeah, one life. Um... You two have those abilities to shoot fireballs after you've acquired the staff, which is behind the gate. So you have to get the key to the gate. I you've see. got the key. Go get. Go back ah, to the. Go back to the gate. I see. I see. So well, there you go. It's open. Oh, you do continue. You just didn't wait long enough to press the button. Okay. So now you've got the staff, so you can shoot now. Um. Move and shoot. It's always just that one. Button. I see. Oh, there's a guy. And I believe when you kill him, he's dead forever. Thank God. So. I needed my staff, man. That was rough. Okay. Uh, the Red Wizard guarantees to... Uh, the Red Wizard tends to guard certain items, while the White Wizard avoids them. The White Wizard. You've also brought a backpack with you this time so you can carry multiple items, because in the original adventure, you could only have one thing at a time. Oh, you could see... have the key, or the staff, or the chalice, so you were vulnerable when you are carrying the chalice back to your castle. I'm a fan of that. Yeah. So it's a kind of a trade-off. Oh, 
Nobody has figured out when whether Penalt was in the awards. I don't remember seeing it, but I could be. I don't remember well, it, it in the 2019. So I'm guessing it was 2000. It was just released as well, a work in progress. Well, there's the chalice. But uh. Damn. So you keep your stuff. That's good. But everything returns back, like the white wither comes back. Do you remember how you got to that? Uh, not really. So I think you'll need something to get in there, though. Yeah, it's um, it just takes a bit of energy to sort of wrap your brain around it. Um, mm -hmm. I think I have. Oh, there's a gray key. I bet that gets you into the. Was it gray? The skull? I think it was. Oh, getting there. Just go up and around. Nope. nope. Um. I. I plan on having three levels like adventures, so this one is somewhere between uh, level one and two difficulty. Yeah, I got it. Now. I'll probably uh, get rid of the red wizard's fireballs on level one. Oh, there you go. Okay, so the skull castle was not the great one. Should probably have to find one. I remember the red guy was here. I think they change ah. locations. Wild. Uh, uh, the game has no sound. I'd like to add the original adventure sounds, but I've got no idea how to do this. Thanks to Batari for making this possible. What do you guys think? Um, and then there's lots more he, as he develops the game. Interesting. Okay, so that's... So we've got a, a manual here, which I will read. Evil Magician Returns Manual. What is this? Is it goat? Oh, well, maybe you have to get that skull to get in the skull. Yeah, that's how you get it. Where's into my this. staff, though? I don't have a staff. Okay, I you do. have to move and shoot. Ah, oh, I have to hold it down and then move. Cool. So, that's nice about the skull business. Yeah. Oh, well, looks okay. like you got everything except for the chalice now, which you have I'm to go use the skull. Up. Okay, good. So be careful when you make it to the skull castle, because the Red. Have you only killed one wizard right now? Um. Yeah, I killed the white one, I believe. Okay. So the red one's probably still guarding. Um. On your last adventure many years ago, you slayed the evil magician's three dragons and reclaimed the enchanted chalice, bringing peace to your kingdom. Now the evil yes. magician has returned and stolen the chalice back, plunging your kingdom into darkness. With his dragons dead, the evil magician and his apprentice now personally guard the chalice. Rumor has it that the evil magician has been creating a new creature. Even more powerful than his previous dragons to jar, car, guard the chalice at, as a last defense. So, well, that's where he started. This is my starting point. As it, as in your last adventure, the ob object of the game is to rescue the enchanted chalice and place it inside the golden castle where it belongs. Once again, this is not will not be an easy quest. The evil magician, the red wizard, has the ability to cast fireballs. His apprentice, the white wizard, has not yet learned this skill, but his touch is fatal. Oh, okay, the white wizard just chases you. He didn't shoot anything. Okay. There are three castles in the kingdom. The golden castle, the gray castle, and the skull castle. Dude, so I gotta you... get to the skull castle. That's right, you did make it there once. Yeah, I just don't quite remember how I did it. I think it was going up. Oh no, it's the other side. Oh no, how do you get to that side? Yeah, this is like maze mode. Uh, inside the evil magician's gray castle, you will find multiple rooms. The castles are separated by labyrinths, which have changed since your last adventure. Ooh. Items scattered throughout the kingdom are certain items to help you in the search for the enchanted chalice. To pick up an item, simply touch it. Yes. You will hear a sound uh, that tells you you have picked up the item. And the item will appear in your inventory at the bottom of the screen. This is called going in circles, what this game's all about. <laughs> there is a map, so uh, well, we'll, even, we'll get to the map. Even with the map, it's not going to be the easiest. No, because you still have to make it through the maze. Yeah, which is cool. Oh, getting there. Not really. <laughs> To open any castle, touch the castle while in possession of the proper key. Like the Red Wizard, you two have the ability to cast fireballs once you've acquired the Fire Staff. 
curved stick. Simply press the red controller button while moving left or right to fire. So you can't fire up? Only left or right? Yeah, that's okay. the case. The red wizard tends to guard certain items, while the white wizard likes to avoid them. This can be used to your advantage when a wizard is chasing you. Okay, Occasionally, so. the white wizard would cast a spell on an item to make it deadly to the touch. Oh, jeez. Buddy. The white wizard has to be nearby an item in order for this spell to work. Which, which didn't happen, thankfully. A clue item, a clue that an item may be cursed is when it shifts position slightly on the screen. So it's like moving around. You're missing some paths in the gray castle. Yeah, so, I for sure am. So you gotta make it to the gray castle. Well, there we go. So I think it'd be inside the gray castle. Oh. There's one to the left there. Yeah, I, I just I'm anywhere. pretty sure that I gotta gray it up because yeah, because you have to open the gate. Blue has and go been in. about. I feel like blue has been used. Yeah. And then this one, I believe, is oh, yeah. Okay. That's where we found our skull. Right. And there's gotta be something. Right. That's a dead end. It's a dead so end. it's one of those brown rooms. It's gotta be. That's nothing. What's interesting is that looks the same as that other one. See, that is just that probably leads to that. Yeah, that's the and same one. I don't know about so that, it's man. Probably to the right. What's to the right? Uh, again. Go, use that one then. Well, the problem is, that, is that there was no path to that one. Oh, go to the right there. Well, that's the thing is that. Oh, does it lead just? Cause see. Oh. I don't know. If, I don't know if you missed anything. I don't think I did miss anything because the reality is is that you see this one goes here. This one goes here, and I mean, unless there's some, I think that I think I've done all the gray thing, based off of m at least my assessment. Because well, unless there's, because see, this one is just gonna lead us to the same spot. I think I gotta get to a different one. Cause yeah, see, gray, and that's all the gray. Oh, and then the left. There we go. This ah, is. shoot him. Nice. Now you have to get there, <sighs> okay. which is down and around, through the blue, over. Yeah, this is the way. And either up there or up there. No, 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 no. no. I was just checking oh, it okay. out. Because the things, things are not as they appear. Because it's like what appears to go. be obvious. Okay. Yeah, I think we got it. Okay. And I think you have to return it. Where do you return to it your to your castle? My home base? I think so. Got a map, which we don't need now. And then this is just Grey Castle. And then I believe now I got a... I think it's... I think, I think this is right. Did I beat the game? You did. Damn. Level, level one. Okay. Um, nah. Let's see if level two and three are much of a difference. Mm -hmm. This level two, this kingdom has items that are more difficult to find, so the maze doesn't change. The red wizard can now cast fireballs. Damn. Okay. His new creature may appear as well. Wow. Okay. So it's just so we more... at least have to see the creature. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do we it. We may not have to solve the whole thing. And let's just see. Level three, the kingdom is the hardest and has items in random positions. The red wizard can cast fireballs, and he has multiple apprentices. Ooh. The new creature may appear as well. Let's just do three and just go to the... Uh, go to the... There we go. There. So the gray key is behind. Oh, so what's here. hard here is that we don't necessarily know where our... Um... And you don't have a weapon. <laughs> yeah. Don't know where the staff is. We don't know where anything is. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> okay. This is uh this is a new game. Whole new game. Okay. As soon as he's alerted to you, he's like on you and he won't stop. Jeez. Okay, let's uh It's pretty much death. Oh, yeah, you just gotta run. You gotta memorize this fucker. <laughs> no mistakes can be made. So if 
you encounter him in a maze, it's 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 game over. It's game over, man. It's game over, man. Yeah, I need. I just need that staff. Like once I know where that freaking staff is, I feel <laughs> like a little bit more secure. Well, then I can at least play this game. <laughs> oh, see, I wanted to go up. And then you have to start over from the beginning. Never seen or played this, although I did know about it and played the sequel. Okay. So we'll play this a little bit longer. Oh, do you have lives? Because yeah, you're almost down there. Almost dead, man. Oh, so that's the point. Oh, Is it rip. Over? I think that's it. Oh, one more. <laughs> and you're dead. And... Well, when he came up? Oh, my Jesus God. Christ. Okay. Should we it's... try two? We could try two for a little bit, because so, we haven't seen the creature. Oh my god. That's fair. What do you think? Whoa. That's pretty fair. Death immediately. Holy cow. <laughs> okay, the other thing is is that basically this is a completely... Really, it's just at this point it's an RNG fest. Oh, he doesn't... Oh, there's your staff. Whoa. Yeah, because now I can actually play the game. Yeah. And you'll never lose your staff. Yeah, wait for him there. And then he's dead for dead, for sure. Which yeah. Is... I want to see the creature. That's the only thing we haven't seen yet. Oh, oh, there's the key. That shouldn't be too hard to get. Uh, to go around. That's cool. I like that. Oh, there you go. I like that because, um, yeah, and then you just get... Yeah, this is a totally different game once you really learn mm -hmm. the... Um, once what you learn you the do. maze... Oh, yeah. That's everything... It's really there's some huge benefits to like replaying this game. I just I don't like mazes because I don't think that's like a challenge. Like it's not a there you go. It's not a worthy challenge. Oh, oh, there you go. That's an easy get. Well, yes and no. Because it's random, right? Because if I if 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 I got attacked by a wizard in here, this would be a very challenging level. It would be because yeah. it's very difficult to dodge shoot. it, and you can't shoot. So like now you just have to make it back to your castle. I'm just going to check out... Is that is that it? And That's then I it. win? Yeah. I don't even need any of the other stuff? Because they're placed randomly. Whoa. Um, so the chalice could be in the opening screen. That would be hilarious. It would be. Uh, <laughs> now do I remember how to do this one? See, this is the hard part is now I need sticky to like... Walls. I hate sticky Now walls. I need to try to remember like where our spot is. That's true. Um, I think... I oh, think yeah. I think this is. Now. I think this is right. Yeah, and then up through the blue. <gasps> but you don't have the key to open your oh, castle that's great. yet. That's right. You didn't get. Don't the... have the yellow key yet. We just figured that out. That's great. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Yeah. Okay. No, so, um, maybe he... I think I gotta go back to this gray one. If I remember uh, correctly, or I can kind of explore another area. Let's try this area out. I think this might be a dead end, but I could be wrong. Oh, oh! You just got the skull. Skull. Didn't even know it. Yay! <laughs> I'm a fan of that. Maybe I'll go. Back. Maybe it's not completely random. Like it places certain things in certain areas. Yeah, that must be the case. There's got to be like an algorithm or something for it. Yeah, so it's not um, just, here's the chalice, you win. If I recall correctly, this doesn't go anywhere, but I'm doing it anyways, because mm. I think... Oh no, that goes up to a different area. Oh, you've got that? Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh no, that would have been the end of the game if you just touched that key. Yeah. But you know where it is now. Well, it's now I need, to get, I, need to, I need to get the chalice again. Oh no! Oh, that disappears. I see. He steals it back. Yeah. I don't seem to be able to shoot again. It's left and right. Oh, my God. Oh, whoa. Oh, so, yeah. So, then I have to approach that completely differently. Right. You have to lead him out. Yeah. TM. Transcendental meditation. Time machine <laughs> is what they're saying. Time? Oh, you want to do that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll go just before you get there. Well, maybe a bit. Oh, no. Something. You touched it. Anyway, you can make it up there. 
Um, now, I don't know if this is the way, because it's going to be very difficult for me Just to kill this out. guy. Lead him out down there, and then you can shoot left and right. Oh, that's not a bad idea at all. And wait. Oh, maybe he doesn't come out of there. We can just run for it. Just boot it up there and back down. Damn it. Oh. And then you have to shoot him. Yeah, okay. Jeez. You ready? Yeah. Go straight down. Oh, no. Whoa. I think I'm fucked. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's a good spot to start, though. Well, see, this is where, like, what I would prefer to do, but I don't think we'll do it, is I prefer to come in through the other direction. Oh, Since yeah. To the... Avoid that shot. Yeah. Then run. Oh, I just shot shoot. the wrong way. <laughs> Yeah, what a don't, game! Don't head straight down yet. There you go. Yay! It only took me cheating. <laughs> it I only it cheating. It doesn't feel good. No. It doesn't feel good. But, but you, did, you did complete the first level. Yeah. This is just an the, extension of the see first the way level. that we'd want to do this is approach this, I think, more along the lines of, like, this, you know? I think this would have been the way to... Not this way, but... um. Yeah. But the way to do it is I would have wanted to come in through the other way so I could kill him and then sneak mm. around and grab it. I don't think this oh, is good. Oh, yes, that's right. You yeah, can... this is... No, it's not the way. <gasps> we saw it. Oh, oh my God, you're going to die. Holy shit. Uh, let's go to just before you see him. Oh, I need to be probably more back. Or do you want to try and kill him? No. Okay. Because I can't, at least in this environment, I'm dead. I'll rewind before you encounter there. Like I don't know what this. There you go. I think it's a random encounter. Oh, you could shoot Fuck. him. You could, you could have shot him. Shit. Oh. Get in that room. Yeah. He's in the maze somewhere. There you go. This is just oh. The this is the gray. Wrong castle. The princess is in another castle, Mario. That's the most hilarious thing of all time, <laughs> that they do that. Yes. It's just like... It's like, nope. Okay, you can shoot them. Fuck. Sticky walls. Ready? Oh. Ooh, look at that. It what happened? Open something up there. <laughs> Not enough time. There you go. Some lead on him. It's just that was a secret. That was a secret entrance. Well, I mean, it's a good thing we're learning the ways of the force. Shoot it. Secret. Oh, this is the Easter egg that the. No, go in that castle. Can you go in it? No. Okay. It's just an Easter Robinette. egg. Robinette. Robinette. Buddy. Got the micro dot. Oh, you got a dot. That's how you got in there. I don't know where you even got that dot from. That's great news. <laughs> it is great news. And you defeated the monster. Through cheating, but you did it anyway. You know. Oh, is this the... No, this is the way out. Nobody's perfect. Which... Da -da -da! Yay! I beat it with... With cheating. With cheating. Doesn't, okay. Doesn't feel good, friends. No, it doesn't. Okay, let's move on to the third game, which is the sequel to this one. Ah, cool. Evil Magician Returns 2. That's hilarious. Evil Magician. The Revenge of the Evil Magician. It's like the beginning of Tropic Thunder. Do you remember that? Oh, uh, I watched that a long time ago. Oh, they have just like this trailer where it's just like, he saved the world <laughs> again. And then when it came for the second time, he returned. And on the third time, <laughs> he was there, the one man. And the fourth time, like it was just like, and it's oh like, oh my God. It's such a funny one. I love, I love that. Just the opening bit of Tropic Thunder is hilarious. Because <laughs> they have all these fake trailers it's good, for everything. Good movie. Yeah. I don't remember much about it. It's ridiculous that, I don't think you could make that movie today, though. Uh, there's some things in it that are quite 
questionable. You're not allowed to do it anymore. <laughs> I wrote the title screen music for this. It was not used. Oh, buddy, oh. I'm sorry. I was supposed to. So this is Evil Magician Returns 2 by Todd Holcomb, a.k.a. Bite Knight. It was first posted August 3rd, 2012. This build is from November 26, 2016, and it was released last year and entered. It was part of the... Um, Atari Awards. Amazing. Uh, nominated for Best Music and Ritual Sound. Ritual Objects. I've never seen you before, buddy. That's cool. Oh, welcome. He's got a old dude. He's got the icon. He's got the, he's the got wizard. The wizard thing, man. I love it. It's nominated for Best Music and Sound, Best Graphics, and Best Homebrew. Um, and it was released on cartridge at PRGE 2019. Wow. And it was in the Atari store on December 8th, 2019. And we've never played it. Uh, Tanny and I played it just briefly when we we're going through the nominated games, ah. um, but not a proper playthrough, right? We didn't have time to do proper playthroughs. Um, this is a 32K game, uh, s double the size of last time, and it's using um, the co-processor, DPC Plus. Um, so yeah, last time we played it was in the nomination announcements. And he's when it was released, uh, Bite Night said, seven years in the making. Whoa. Says, uh, hey guys, I know you're getting sick of my adventure games, but I decided to update Evil Magician Returns to DPC+. Evil Magician Returns 2 is a truer vision of the adventure sequel that I had in mind when I was thinking up EMR, but didn't have the knowledge or the resources. I still don't have any knowledge, but I've got better resources, thanks to Batari Basics DPC Plus Colonel. Evil Magician Returns has the same premise as Evil Magician Returns, in which you must reclaim the chalice from the Evil Magician and his apprentice. Here are some differences between them. Uh, upgraded sprites and background graphics thanks to Pac-Man Red, who is a master at graphics. If you've ever gone through the forums, he's got this mega thread where he's posted hundreds of Atari graphics, and they're just mind-blowing. Um, so if you ever need graphics for your game, you can either ask him or look at the way he does graphics for the 2600 and how he does layers, and it's just magical. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Um, so, left and right. Oh, maybe we're not focused on it. Okay, now left and right. So, it's three levels, just like before. Got a nice magician there. I can do one, up. just so that... Yeah. So, way better looking graphics for the castle. Okay, so immediately get the staff. Which is nice. Oh, and I kind of have it attached to me. And there's the uh, thing at the top there. Oh. oh, different maze layout. Oh, and he's got little torches when you're in your castle. That's nice. Yeah. And he's got Atari Age at the bottom, so much. Oh. Ooh, actually, this, thing is, I, this thing is hard I, on my eyes. The thing I hate worse than mazes is dark mazes. What's this? Can That's, I pick it up? Uh, I don't think you can pick it up. You can shoot it again. <laughs> uh, I don't think you can. I don't think it hurts you, but it just doesn't do anything. Those torches sprites look beautiful, in my opinion. I think so as well. Like, those are great. Wow. And it even flickers. Like, look at the maze. Wow. It's flickering with the light. Okay, this is classic. Dead end. I don't know if the mazes are the same. I don't think so. They're similar. I mean, it's the same style. Yeah. Uh, they're, they are different, yeah. Upgraded sprites and background graphics, thanks to Pac-Man Red. Some mazes are from Adventure with new twists. Some mazes are new. Dark mazes are back. Hooray, dark mazes. See, it always stays dead on the same screen, too. Oh, weird. Oh, so does this wrap around? Maybe. Yep. That's, so it's like three wide? That's good Four to know. Wide. Okay, so what's hard? Actually, this is hard on my eyes. Oh, there's a key. Yeah. When we were playing it, Tanya was like, oh my god. She has issues. Nice. Ah, and you can only carry one in this game. As in, oh, I can only carry the key, but so now I can't fight. Yeah. Oh, there's another key, but you can only have one key. Oh, get that key and open it. Oh, skull key. Yeah, you can't fight. Um, home castle gate is now open. Why would you have to open your own castle, he says. The bat is back at the great randomizer of items. Yeah, there's a bat in Adventure that steals items and transports them to another part of the maze. So, 
Maybe. I'm just wondering. See, now you don't need that key anymore because the, it's open. So it's good to go get... When I've seen people play, they kind of move the staff with them. Well, that's the thing that I was thinking is that I want to go get my staff again because... Yeah. Because seriously, I'm it's... screwed without it. So Have you opened the skull one yet? Yeah. No, no I haven't. That's no. the next one. So this is the... Is that I've the skull? that one. No, that's the gray. And this is the skull. Okay. Yeah. Oh, shoot him. That was close. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, okay. Skull action. What so you, you can press a button to drop it. And then okay. you can bring your staff. What I'd like to do is just yeah, move that down. Grab my staff. Oh, and you automatically have the magnet. That's cool. So if you notice, you press the button and it drew the staff towards you. Because in the oh, original, I'm thinking that we should go through the area it opened up. I'm just thinking that might make sense. You know, because how I open up this red one, like right here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like go in there and. Oh. Okay, whatever. I can't. I can't put down the staff. Oh. So I'm just gonna. There's a skull keys right here. Put down the key, but not the staff. Uh oh. Hold down the button. Yeah. You automatically have a magnet. Okay, that's good news. In the original game, you had to go get a magnet. Jeez, okay. <laughs> and draw this it. This is vicious. With... Yeah. I'm just thinking that I'd like to go through this and see if there's a skull business that needs to happen. And then go get your staff again. Yeah, yeah. just because I'm like, uh, I'm defenseless. Um, yeah, the staff, the staff acts as a magnet. Ah, so you have to have the staff. So good luck if your staff is in a wall. Um, you can attract... Oh, no, you can attract the staff to yourself by holding down the fire button. So you always have a magnet. Um, unless you have a key. Uh, the wizard casts spells that make you go half speed. Oh, Damn. That's fun. Yeah, this oh, flashing maze is... Dude, I'm lost already. This is bad. Because it's not as... It's, it's bad that it's a maze, but it's double bad it's a dark maze. Because you yeah. can't even memorize what the rest of the maze is. A new hideous dragon created by the evil magician guards the chalice on levels two and three. So that's the creature. So let's read the manual for this one. This is uh, challenging. Yeah, um, I'm I'm scared because I don't necessarily even know if this is the right area. Phosphor might help a bit. Uh, oh, it was on. It's hurting my epilepsy. Oh, turning it off might help. I don't know. I don't know if it helps turning it off. Oh, what is that? Glowy thing. And death. That's where it lies. Oh, it wasn't too far from you. Well, but I don't even know where my staff is now. Fuck. <laughs> oh, God. Nightmare. Oh. So that's that, not where you left it. That is where I left it. That's not where you died, was it? Yeah, that is where I oh, died. Okay. So what's the challenge now? Well, you might as well bring it with you because you haven't opened that one up yet. So the challenge that we have now is I need to figure out where my staff is. Yep, it's at the entrance to a castle. And this red guy is attacking me. Without your staff. Rip! That might. On your first adventure, you. Uh. What? Is this the. No? Okay, so that's something. So, on your first adventure, you laid what waste to the evil. This? Oh, what? Oh, oh, wow. it was a key in the wall. Oh, but now I lost my other one. Fuck. Yeah. And you need the staff to tra attract it. Now you can't even see that it's there. Oh God, I might want to just reset. <laughs> in all honesty. I think so. Cause. Do you want to play level two? Or I can't even do level one yet. So maybe. Yeah. 
Maybe let's try to figure out. We'll do our best. I don't. I don't know if you'd be. I don't know if we'll be able to complete this. At least you got your staff. Oh. Fuck. Oh. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Okay. Gra oh. Damn. Well, at least it's just the entrance to the blue maze. Oh, what well, was brutal is now I don't have a staff anymore. At least I remember how to get there. Oh, that's not too bad. It's relentless. <laughs> it's not an easy game. Definitely Evil Magician Returns is a lot easier than this. I mean, yeah, you, you want to make a sequel. Either harder or more complex. Well, here's or... a huge thing. Graphically, it is next oh, level. Way superior. I'm, oh, there it is. Well, this is a totally different game now. So what's this? this that's is the a... skull, for sure. Okay, so that's our skull key. So at least we know what the skull key is meant to, where, where we it's need to the, go to get To the get top that of the one. blue maze. Uh, with a, as in your last adventure, the object of the game is to rescue the enchanted chalice and return it to the gold castle walls. Once again, this has not been an easy quest. The evil magician, red wizard, and apprentice gray wizard can cast spells that make you weak and susceptible to attack. Their touch is deadly. But hope is not all... But all hope is not lost. They are vulnerable to attack by the mag magical fire staff. Swords will not help you in this adventure. The evil magician will succumb to two hits from the staff. And his apprentice need only one hit. So you have to hit the red wizard with two Whoa, okay, and he came shots. out of nowhere and killed me. And now, I need, now I'm... Uh, <laughs> Without staff. Oh my god. You can't even see your staff. This is, this is, this is, brutal. Uh, needs some serious tactics. Oh, that's what he's casting. There, there's your staff. No, but I can't get it. <laughs> You're the dead end. Oh, he's gone. So he doesn't follow you directly. Yay, I think you're close to your, no, go back. Oh, you, um, and I think you just go up a bit and you can get your staff. There you go. Phew, terrible. So have you opened... Shoot him! Nice. Now this is the... Oh my god, he comes back to life? Oh my god, he resurrects his friend! There we go. Now they're both dead in one screen. Now this is the red area, so... Oh, there's... Oh, that's great. There's the key for it. And then you don't need that key anymore. You just dump it to the side there. Oh, there's the... Oh, I think you might have a chance. Because there's the, the skull key. And we know where the skull one is. It's at the top of the blue. blue yeah, so... Um... And you've killed both wizards. So you're home free. I think. Unless he can resurrect himself. No, it's both dead. Okay. So, so you don't need your staff anymore. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Neither am I. <laughs> Are you just transporting everything? It's the only one. way, man. I don't yeah. know how else I can do this because the other issue is is that like if I Okay, so that's the So you're done with that. I just need to like I just want to figure out like where I got to go in this maze cuz right. I think Yeah. And then you need the skull key. Oh, I think I'm just going to go slowly. Take our time. Because... Oh, man. Because, see, this is the nightmare. <laughs> it is. Oh, okay, good. We're back to this area. No, 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 down to the left. I'm just trying to remember where everything is at. Okay. So this is... That's our that's our skull key that we need, right? Yeah. Okay. And then this guy goes here. So I think I'm gonna just I think I'm gonna just go for it. Yeah. And we'll I see. I think so. 
Mm, we actually, still don't one, have the chalice. One yet. thing I wouldn't mind doing, I'm not gonna lie, is is see what this if this area yields anything. You have to have the chalice. Like it's in one of these things. It might be in the skull. It might be in the red. It might be in any of these. Cause okay, so this thing is red and then up and oh god. The problem is, is I have to somehow remember all this stuff. I know. So then going here is one way, and then going here, okay, is nothing, and then this is at least, yeah, because I just wonder if... At least this maze is lit. Uh, yeah, like at least I can remember yeah. this. So it's probably better to traverse this one first. That's my sense. Yeah. And to sort of get my lay of the land. Okay, so. This one's very symmetrical. Okay. Oop. Was there nothing in there? Did we see everything? I wonder. I mean, I'm going to go this direction. Yeah, because you went left last time. And then I wonder what down is. Okay. Is this just the same? Yeah. Mm. God, this is, this is called going in circles, this game. Yeah. Holy cow. Okay, that's good, that's good. Yeah, you have to have control over what you're doing in this one, so I think this one might be it. So I'm going to go top right now, mm. see if this leads anywhere. No. I think there's nothing in here. Then... I think, yeah, I think we might have gotten everything there is to get out of this yeah. level. Yeah, okay. White key. It's this way. Bottom is nothing. This direction. What's up here? Red castle, okay. I have to go through this fucking maze here. There's no way. There's no other way to do this. Yeah. With the skull key. Yes. I just can't lose. I no, just, you don't have the skull key. I'm just, I'm, I'm just want to figure out like, what, I mean, because the problem is, is no matter what I do, I have to go back to get the staff, I think. I don't think you need the staff anymore. In level one, there's no dragon. Okay. Um, Fingers crossed. So you've killed all the, all the bad guys. Okay. Let's hope. Supposedly. <laughs> I just, I'm skeptical of... Oh, what? Oh. No. No. No, no, no. Okay. To get to the blue maze, or the blue area, and go up. I think it's through this. Oh. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I believe the blue is up here. we here. go. No, it's I don't at the top of the blue. I don't exactly remember what that is, but... The way, but we'll. Yeah, neither do I. Yeah, okay, oh, that's, just that a, that's just a circle. <laughs> oh, I think it's this. Yeah. Yeah, and then it's up. Nope. Somewhere. This feels right. Yep. 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 Yay! Whoa. Whoa, what? what the? No! Oh, did it just no, send it me? just reset you, so don't go through that side thing. <laughs> oh, no, that's terrible. Oh. No way. Okay, okay. <sighs> it was like almost like a pit you fall into. Yes. I don't like not having my staff, but yeah, it is. There we go. And it's left, I believe. Yes. Yep. And up, up. Okay. <sighs> that's that's a dirty trick. Don't go. Okay, don't go there. there. Oh, God. Okay. Somewhere there's a chalice, and I'm guessing it's in here somewhere. It's for sure going to be here. And I bet you the chalice you got to hold on to. Yay! Ish. <laughs> well, at least we know, like, what screen it's on. What we're searching for. Oh, oh. Hooray! <sighs> oh, I was. I was. 
we're almost without hope that we, <laughs> we were, were going to finish this game. Well, yeah, now, now that the reality of this is, is that if I hadn't have killed that red guy, yeah, and, and, and we're doing like the harder levels, it'd just be like, give up. Yeah. I think the key to this game is to kill the, like, set out to kill the wizards first. Okay, so... Now the, you have to return it to your castle, which is, I think, below the blue? Is it's the castle that leads to the blue? I'm pretty sure I remember where it is, sort of. Yeah. Um, it'll take a sec, but... Okay, so that's it's, our... This is the red castle. It's not yours? No. I think it's around this area. Yeah, it's it's connected to the yellow. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, I think it's over and then up. Uh, is this it? <sighs> okay, we didn't even need to time machine it. Oh, and you burn them. Yes, okay. Yeah, yeah, we didn't need to time machine it. Oh my Legitimate God. Legitimate win, <laughs> level what a, one. What a game. Whoa, I didn't think that was even possible. <laughs> Yeah, I think the tactic is kill the wizards first. Got to do it. And, and then, then also... Then you're fine. And then you yeah, can I feel like just going really slowly until you encounter all the wizards, you kill them with the staff. Yes, just keep the staff in your hands. Kill the wizards. And can out. they be resurrected in the in the later levels? They must be. I think that's... As long, once you kill the red wizard... It's done. It's done. Then you have to kill all the rest of the stuff, but oh, he and the... can resurrect those things. Oh, and then the monster is the... the monster. Yeah. So if you kill the... Red wizard, and then kill the minions, then you're fine. But okay. if you kill the minions, the red guy can just bring him back. Bring wow. Him back, bring him back. Yeah, so you got to kill red wizard, all the people, and then collect all the stuff, and then you can win. So let's just take a look at level three. Just go for it. And I would use the same tactics. Just start searching for the staff, and then kill him. Kill everything you can find. I mean, until then, you're... Like, you're screwed. <laughs> Pretty much. Like, yeah, you have a key, but you're going to die. <laughs> Hooray! Get ready to fucking die. <laughs> He's somewhere around here. Oh, oh, you got your staff. Oh, there's the bat. He will carry things away. He won't shoot. He hasn't picked up the key yet. Oh, it doesn't seem to hurt you. I think he just... He just steals your shit? Steals stuff. Or maybe you can't kill him. Whoa. Okay, where's this red wizard? Come at me, wizard. <gasps> no! Oh, no! Holy fuck, okay. Where even was it? I don't even know. Oh, oh my and he God. stole my key? <laughs> Jesus. Whoa. Oh, okay, there we go. I don't know if you can kill the bat. You haven't had a good hit on him yet. And so this, so this is the thing about this game. A confusing thing is three dark mazes, yes. Well, the other thing is is that once you learn the level, it's a oh, different story. Still carrying the key. Is he? <laughs> then the red castle contains a dark maze. Then the skull, gray skull castle has a dark maze, yeah. And you can't see any of them. So they're all... Come at me, red wizard. Yeah, he was here, wasn't he? I want you, red wizard. Yeah, drawing him out to that area would be good. Smart. Oh, there he is. It's it's hard though because I kind of need an area the, that I there. Can... shoot him there. Oh, oh. it's because the problem is I can only shoot side to side, so yeah. there's only certain areas I can actually kill him. Yeah. Okay, so now I need to get back to that place. Holy fuck. Um, I remember how to get there though, thankfully. Oh, <laughs> still got the key. Stealing my shit. Okay. We haven't seen the monster yet. So we'll play till we see the monster. And then we've seen everything. Yeah. Come on. Okay, so at least I know where that stuff is at. For now. Till the bat steals it. I love that the bat is still... <laughs> still. Just... Maybe you have to shoot him or grab it from him? It's gotta be the case. Because he's just, like, carrying it all he's over the place. just running. Okay, so of course I need to, like... Oh, he, holy So fuck. he likes your staff better. So... Oh, there he was. What do I do? Last time he put down the staff. So I oh, guess maybe he, he needs to trade. Like, we need... He needs to, like, take my stuff, I think. Oh, he might, yeah. 
Because I guess in his mind, oh, you... There. What did he do with my... <laughs> but then where's the staff? <laughs> what? Uh, and then now that thing's gone. Okay, so at least this is here, so... Well, I'm going to open this no matter what. There you go. That. So now that... At least you don't need that. Well, can you put that down? Yeah, you can put down keys, but not staffs. Because there's no reason to ever put down a staff. Yeah, you got to shoot with it. So now I literally don't know where my staff is. Like, what yeah. is what has he done with it? So it must be over here. It must be where he stole it. That's probably how it works. I'm assuming. Maybe. Oh, I got trapped in the wall. <laughs> oh, no. Bug. Look. I'm... Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Because you're not supposed to be in a wall, so there's no error checking for yeah, being so in a wall. Yeah, time machine me. And then he just stole my key. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that terrible bat. There we go. No. It's not stuck. Oh. There. I'm going to go a different way. So yeah. Just... Bug. Found a bug. Yay. Found a bug. Hooray for bugs. Yeah, steal my key, man. I don't care. <laughs> you already used that key. Actually, that's not a bad tactic. Well, But he doesn't seem to helpful. give a shit about my key. Okay, good. But I have no idea where the staff is now. Because he stole it from me somewhere. Yeah. Where did he steal it from? I don't even know. Well, he could have put it down anywhere. And now this guy's... Slowing you down. In a maze. In the dark. Ready to kill you. So now I just need to randomly run around and hope to God just find I can it find it somewhere. Without dying. Because I don't know, I don't understand like what, how the... There we go. Okay. Why was it there? <laughs> just Okay, red cause. key is here. That's good to know. Okay. Looks like castles aren't behind castles. So, oh, he's got a key. Shoot him. Ah, oh, that would have been the twice. level to do it. Perfect open level, but he's really fast and he slows you down. That guy's a little bit slower, I think. Ugh. And then he's right there. At least, at least there's no like hit points. No, it's just death, and you, and you get to resurrect, but you lose your stuff. Oh, that's great. One on one side, one on the other. Slowing you down in a maze. Oh, wow, you got away in a maze. Oh, now I'm trapped in the wall. Look, I'm trapped in the wall, man. <laughs> oh, my God. A little bit buggy. This is like... This is <laughs> tough. Holy shit. Okay, okay. Trapped in a wall and a wizard. It's still going to be the wizard there, probably. Yeah, come at me. One more hit. Oh, did you say I shot through him? Yeah. Yes. What? He resurrected. Oh, my God. Let's try that again. Okay. Well, at least we have a shot at it. Okay. Start there. That's pretty fair. How did he resurrect? Oh, the white one resurrected him. Oh. How do you do this? So you have to kill both of them. I don't know how you did it on one screen last I time. think I must have had to kill both of them at the same time. So let's go to the right. Go to the right before the white wizard comes. Let's go. Oh. Okay, go to the right. Not enough time. Oh. Damn it. It's a ruthless game. Maybe just... I don't know what to do. Well, I don't have any room, and it's like the dark, too. Maybe go up instead. Just so he doesn't... Yeah, there's lots of room. If he's going to come. He come on the screen. And just you, just you wait for my freaking uh, staff to get stolen. Uh, oh, and then this guy resurrected, too. Gets stuck. Anyway. Well, we level see the three monster. is next level. It is. I don't 
know if the white one would resurrect his friend off screen or whether you have to be on the screen to have it resurrect. And just you wait, this fucking bat's gonna steal my thing real <laughs> soon. I can just feel it, I just know. Oh, you got a chance now. There we go. Nice. Now, supposedly, they're both. They're not. Damn. Well, maybe I have a chance here to. Can maybe wanna... they're both dead? Yes. Okay. So, they should stay dead now, because I think they can only resurrect each other. Hey, there's a skull key here. Oh, yeah. Not a red key. Yep, still dead. Oh, no! Gave you the red key. Well, he was actually doing you a favor. Oh, there we go. So then. <laughs> he brought isn't you the red like, key. Isn't it like right here? Yeah. Up. Nice. Hey, and then skull key. Oh, there's your staff. What was the skull key? Was through the blue area, right? Uh, last time it was. I don't know if it changes the maze. Oh, we almost got the stuff. If that's how you get us to get it back. It's gotta be. Yep. Yep. Whoa. Okay, so... Okay. Well, that's... Yeah. Awesome. We'll, we'll, we'll wait for... Still haven't seen the monster. I'm thinking that, uh... I'm just gonna... We don't need that anymore, do we? That one? I don't think so. I think we're good. I think you opened that one. Ugh. Mazes. What a game. <laughs> it is. This is. It's not so bad once you know you should kill both both wizards. Right yeah, away. when that's the... R yeah, and it's... It's just... Ugh. Yeah. There you go. So but you don't have a key, though. Yeah, but at least I know. Yeah, so now it's skull key, but the bat has a key. Yeah, so you have to find where it's put it down. If it's put it down yet. I haven't seen the bat in a while. Like, so, so the challenge here is I just honestly don't know what to do other than just, like, wander around randomly and hope that you run into this stuff. bat. Like, this is pretty, <laughs> pretty ruthless. Yeah. VHZC says effing bats. Yeah, it's bats, dude. <laughs> Every time. Just want to see the monster. Is the monster not in the third? Let me see. It doesn't say it's not in it. Oh, there's no... What? Oh, skull key, right? Yeah. Excellent. So somehow... To make it back to with, that other area. Without this bat fucking with us. Yeah, I haven't seen him in a while. But, but he'll come when you just... Right when we get there, he'll for sure be there. Okay, so got to get to the blue one, right? Yep. Through the is, castle. Is, this is it? No. No. Yeah, it is. It's blue. It's right there. Yeah. Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rumor has it that the evil magician has created an even more hideous creature to guard the chalice. That's the... That's... So you have to have... I your need, staff. I need my staff before for getting that. the chalice, and that's the change of this game, that the, this game did. Okay. Oh god. Aren't you in the blue? Yeah, I was. I just gotta get back to it, and then I gotta somehow get through. There. Yeah. To make it up. I think it's. Another it's top. dead end. It's not that. It's. No, it's that. Is this one? There you go. Okay. Oh, my nose is so itchy. Ah. Okay. And that's no, the No, 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 go down that. Oh, there it is. Okay. 
So now you have to go get your staff. Which is annoying, but... Let's do it. At Let's do it. At least we know <laughs> that there's that it's possible, you yes. know? It's not this way. There but go. it is this way. Okay, so... Mm. Gotta go. Erlen is considering so much he doesn't even have the energy to curse <laughs> the bats or the wizards for now. That's true, man. Also, I'm trying to like curse less. Bats are jerks. I'm trying to, I'm Inside trying to, like, joke uh, of the Atari 2600 game by game podcast. Oh, they are. I'm trying. To, I'm trying to turn over a new leaf in my life. <laughs> trying to Cut be, down on the sword. Trying to be a better person. But that doesn't mean that I'm against any of that stuff. <laughs> Dark mazes are jerks, that's what I say. Yay! No, I didn't. No? <laughs> I didn't solve anything. I gotta no. go back in, I just... <laughs> I just can't remember. Then you gotta go through this maze, then the blue maze. Yay! I think. Right? It's somewhere around here. It's up. Right? No? It's down. To the right. Oh, no, the bat's back. Oh, you can take that. Yeah, but I'm thinking that he's going to... Is it through this maze? If I recall correctly. But the problem is, is that I don't remember. This is very much like... Oh, yeah, so that's... So I just went back through this. So at least, at least I'm sort of learning slowly. <laughs> I think it's okay. up in there. There it is. Yes. I don't know why I thought that, but Whew, thank God. Okay, we're almost there. We will cheat to defeat this dragon. Yes. Because I don't want to go and look for your my thing should, again. Yeah, yeah. I'd go through all these mazes again. Oh my I do not God. blame you. So blue is blue is where we want to go. It's up there. Yes, and it is to the right, I believe. Yes, and it's and to up. the left. Whoa! What? You see what that bat had? A chalice. It had the chalice. That's amazing. So now I'm gonna what like the hell? because you've seen the chalice, the bat has access to the chalice. Are you going to follow me? Yeah. Whoa. That'd be actually good, because then you can lead him somewhere a little bit more open. So I can defeat the dragon. And now I just got to randomly find this chalice. So I'll lead him down to that open area. Oh, my God. Whoa. There, that's a good spot. And then stay over there, then go around. Shoot. Go around. Just get... Oh, that's a good one. Wait there. Come at me. Come on. No, what? He's gonna kill you as soon as you go on that screen. Oh, what? He's gone? Okay. Maybe, maybe we led him too far away. Oh, and he reset? Yeah. Oh. Okay. What? <laughs> that's it? <laughs> I think the bat just took the chalice. I'm sure he you did. You didn't kill the dragon. No, I'm fairly certain I didn't, but... But he's gone. Whoa. What a... What a game. <laughs> it's crazy. Holy shit. So maybe you killed the dragon by leading him too far away. That'd be amazing. That's a possibility. But now it's just a general search for the chalice. It could be anywhere. I haven't seen the bat in a while. Yeah. Oh my god, it's really hard in the eyes. I think it's a poor decision to make a flashing... I agree. ...flashing maze. It's like really difficult, even on people who are not super sensitive to it. The bat and the dragon are in cahoots. It's a scam. It really is. It is. Like, he took the chalice from the dragon. How come a bat could take a chalice from a dragon? They must be working together. Okay, so I'm totally 
in circles now. I don't even know what's going on. I don't even know who I am anymore. <laughs> what? I, this is the morale killing of this game is. Oh, oh no, big open. Air. Yeah, it is. It's just like here, you wander around, just stay out of the mazes for a while. Mm. Oh, don't do that. Oh, at least well, it's I just, a blue maze. Well, I just thought like at least it's something new. Yeah, that was my thinking as I'm like I just can't go the same route over and over and over again. Yeah. And it is random where you just need to look anywhere. It doesn't matter where. What's this? I asked about the flashing in the maze. It has to flash. Why does it have to flash? It doesn't have to flash. Just make it a constant. Oh, you know why it has to flash? Why? To, so you can keep the objects with yes, you? Yes, because there's only, there's only so many things. Oh, he's still alive. No, don't die. Oh. Ugh. Okay. okay. Means. This is the perfect spot to defeat him. Just, just shoot him once. Go around him. Oh God. Okay. Sorry. That's okay. What? What? Did What's our, happening? Has our time machine stopped working? Uh, I think I went too far. Whoa! Anyway, we saw the dragon. <laughs> we saw the dragon. We... I think it went all the way back and then you moved. Ah. Uh, I think the time machine, if you press up, it goes all the way back and I accidentally pressed up and then you moved, which made it, that's our new time. Oh no, from. so now it's totally like who knows when we who, are. We may, may not have seen oh, the dragon. Oh no, okay. It's okay. okay. We saw everything. What a, what an adventure that game was. Oh my goodness. That was a good game. Very good game. It's it's challenging and hard and it's definitely not my type of game. If, I, if I, you I, removed the mazes, it would be my type of game. I'd be fine with it. Shooting things and going from screen to screen and trying I'm to get a sick keys bastard. and stuff. I, I enjoyed That'd it. Be fun. <laughs> oh my it God. gets my endorsement. I enjoyed that a lot, actually. <laughs> I think it was hard. I, I, the morale killing is really difficult. I certainly think that um, once you learn the level a little bit better, it's a totally different game. Because then it's because it, once I sort of got a sense of the environment, but I think it's a tough one because it, it, it really like benefits players who have learned the, the maze. Oh, yeah. If you're really good at mazes, I think it would be much, much, much easier, yeah. obviously. And replayability, right? Like, it's like if, you, oh, yeah. if you've if you played this game a few times and you know the areas so well. Yeah, then you can put it on the harder levels where everything's randomized. You don't know where it is. Because I had to... The thing was, is by the very end, I feel like I kind of learned sort of where everything was. And if I were to play another, like, three hours of the game, just, I think I'd know where all the areas are. Like, castle, 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 blue area gold area the dark maze does make it extra challenging because if it wasn't the dark maze i actually think this game would be a lot easier it might be too easy yeah and then the bat adds this other element to it and I think then if the... they kept the bat and go rid of the mazes it might be okay if they did the dark some game maze balancing. is the hard part yeah how about if they turned got rid of the dark maze yeah that that would be make me a little bit happier it's so true although i do enjoy it as is because it's an extra challenging game and yep. it's not like nothing i've ever played before and what a huge improvement from the first one to this one or the second one to the third one in, in terms of graphics for graphics sure. and even, sound and movement and like gameplay and everything is is it's a cool game i've yeah. never played anything like that before which no. is which is really fun for me and i think that's a big strength of atari homebrew games is that there's such variety. Like, they That's don't funny. have to even make sense. Like, it, like gizzle just... waps, you know? It's... Yeah. It's, it's, it's <laughs> strange creatures and trees and people freezing in the snow. And you have to dig for frozen for, yeah. little animals that run away from you. Like, psychedelic children land. stories, you know? Yeah. You pop some mushrooms and next level. <laughs> it's funny that um, these early games have been psychedelic since day one. Like, Mario oh, yeah. oh, and... Yeah. Oh yeah, um, there's. I'm reading the book, the the first quarter, and there's tons of tales about everybody just smoking up, smoking weed. That's the all way to the do time it. While making the games, 
Yeah. Hey, man, if you need to grind a bunch of hours in front of a computer, be programming. I mean, it certainly would help, especially for the kind of like laborious kind of stuff. And you get right. some really good like thinking breakthroughs. I think mm. the hard part would be is if you were just blasted 24-7. Yeah. And... That'd be too much. Yeah. Um, yeah, good games, Dan. Yes, exactly. Peril, lots of fun. Yeah. We had to, we had to cheat all day. But, yeah, what uh, a it was a kind of a cheating but, day, but... But, you know, you, you legitimately completed an Evil Magician, uh, an Evil Magician 2, level 1. One, that's right. On and then, both. And, and yeah. I think that's just... Um, and to be able to knock it off on the first go, because I think we've only really been playing for a couple hours, so... Yep. If I if I had this game on my own, and it, I weren't playing in front of an audience, and it were me just chilling out, I think I could probably beat... Um, at least level two. Level three is pretty so. hard. I think you... <laughs> it is. Well, it's nice because it's meant to... I mean, I think it would be kind of silly if the hardest level of a game you can beat yes. within picking it up in an hour. Like, yeah, that's... it's supposed to be hard. It's supposed to be like, I bought this game, I want to play it long term and have it have it very difficult and have that replay yeah, ability. If, you, if I played one, this is what I would do. I'd play one, maybe two, three times, beat it until I was really confident and consistently beating it. Yes. Then I'd go up to two. And then yep. by the time I got to three, I would just have memorized the map. And then yeah. it would be way easier. That'd be a huge help. And you would have memorized the map, at least yeah. most of it. Maybe one, not all the Dark Maze, but all the non... You one know of where the, the biggest breakthroughs in, at least my favorite game, was the Diablo series. And one of the big design elements they did is randomize maps every time. And that mm. completely changes. That kind of flew through RPGs on their head. I don't know if they were the first people to do that. Certainly not. Right. But that RNG element, so every time you enter into a no. new map, it's a, completely randomized. A, a text adventure called, not text, but it was, the maps were drawn with text. It's called Rogue. Mm-hmm. And everything was randomized. Every it's such an amazing game, and if anybody could ever make it on the twenty six hundred, oh. I would be so unbelievably happy. Thank you, MK Smith, for the, uh, subscribing five months in a row. Thank you very much. The the my favorite game that I think is like kind of like probably at least the best modern game was Path of Exile, and the guy Chris Wilson, who was the programmer, does a little talk on it. Yep. It's called like the it's like the if you go if you put it into YouTube and he talks about RPG like the five kind of values they had, mm. and that's a really if you're interested in RPGs and you want to listen to like a real great programmer, I think what Grinding Gear Games does is they're the best one of the best rpg creators right now for just kind of like super addictive rng fests and all right. this stuff and one of the ones i talked about is randomized maps changes yes because if you imagine this and the maps are randomized yeah then then this would be infinitely playable and the grinding gear model was we want you to play our game forever and so how do we yeah. do that and um uh itemization is and all that stuff but they, that's different but i do think that it's interesting because if you imagine this is that the the limitation of this game is that once you learn the map it's done yeah, yeah i'd love i'd love a good dungeon crawling 2600 game with weapon upgrades yes and spells and the mazes are random every time you go into it like you that's the model it's, that makes an infinitely replayable game. Yeah, just just it, like look at Rogue, and and every level you play it, play the map. Once you're done that, you go down the stairs. It's a whole new map. Yeah, different uh, enemies, but it's all balanced well. Like you're not put up against too hard of enemies for your skill level, and you know there's traps, there's everything like that. And, um, uh, and so the the Diablo one model is just really nice because you just go down. So it's like you have level one and yeah, level fifteen like, is like the rogue. yeah, and you just and you just go down and that's nice. A nice way to kind of make a game more scalable is that yes. you can once you hit a level, you're like okay, well then I'll like ma I'll grind this level, I'll get some levels, I'll make sure I'm set, and then I'll go down another step. And that was one of the challenges I think with um uh, what was the game that we did uh, penalt is that because it's randomized and you, the areas aren't, it's not obvious, it, it just scales with level. I much prefer scale, not with your level, but scale with area. And it, and if you just go deeper and deeper and deeper into a dungeon, that's the coolest model. And that's all Diablo 1 was, was just a town, a crypt, and then they would like, five levels would be like the crypt, then the next mm. five levels would be, you'd go into these tower sort of cemetery things. That's cool. Then you go into like, this like a so underground themes. yeah and the five yeah. and then hell is the very bottom one oh, and then some nice. special ones yeah somebody so, make that 
yeah. or 2600 <laughs> yeah and what you do is you do 15 levels and you just go deeper and deeper yeah. and deeper and you get different um items as you go and you can level up and that would be my and then you could set the difficulty level like you could play it on easy then yeah. medium then hard and hard is like it's yeah you got to make sure you're balancing everything really well and the and the diablo model was um normal nightmare and hell so you can do the same thing but then it scales up so they imagine like nightmare you'd be like level 20 yeah. and then hell you would be like level 40 and then you cap out at 50 yeah so like take a look at penalt yeah and take that game engine and the way it can display like huge maps and just do that a dungeon crawler that would be a so randomized awesome. dungeon crawler using the penult engine. And then like and then unique <laughs> magical <laughs> items would be so awesome. Yeah. And they don't have to be crazy. You just have no, this some just do more different. damage, some armor that gives you some benefits, you yep. know. Upgrade your melee, you have a, a distance weapon, like just be my Just crack. have the basics. <laughs> yeah. Would, oh yeah. That's that's I'd my, be playing that. That's my shit constantly. right there. Yeah. And um and then the and then the Baldur's Gate model is story more more story focus <laughs> and that's more a, like a witcher style thing right. you know and that's that's very challenging to yeah do on the 2600 is story based um but they are doing with save gaia yeah they're doing a, a i'm so know, excited in the guy he was kicking around last time yep. we were on i'd love i'm excited to play that game i think that's going to take a little while because of the story based elements and well, also balancing it with gameplay it's a whole another thing they have had have to work out on well, top of it i think what happens with story games is and now writing is the thing because text is easy it's you know no problem you can yeah limited ram like the story oh you mean for randomized stuff for randomized stuff that's... well that's why you limit it to a level yeah and then you completely erase that level and go to the next level or you just you know you have the extra ram uh on the on the cartridge you you make use of more not not the 128 bytes but have the expanded yeah. expanded ram um, um but and then you can do it but story stuff is just like text is easy i'm happy to read stuff it's just a matter of um that penalt has text yeah in it like a little bit tons and, and it's so great but that's the thing is now now you need to like write a game and that's the yes. and that's where rather than just weapons and creatures it's exactly like, no, that's that's, actual writing and that's where something like the bioware guys and obsidian are just the kings of they they have great writers you know and they, yeah. and they write really great stories and even I'd rather say, than programmers being writers they get writers and they and, then, board. and work yeah. with programmers and people and like a director would oversee the whole sort of thing and even something mm. as simple like penalt is like with well, the thing we kept asking was what's the what's the story? story what is the thing you know and you and it doesn't have to be complicated no it could just here's your quest yeah this is what you're supposed to do and then you can our have lands a, are being ravaged by the dragon and, and yeah. you just add that and there's and then, characters and then you can have, have a little fun little twist you know and be like yeah. it turns out the dragon was the hero and these people are terrible That's and right. now you have to go back and you know whatever I mean, you're we suspect in penalt is the ultimate goal is to turn the cat back into the king yeah that's what you got to do man that's the that's yeah. the direction but but yeah it's um and it's hinting at that but it doesn't come out outright say that you have to do that in the quest yet and that's what i when i was uh dungeon mastering and, and dming mm -hmm. um what i realized very quickly was that um that's that's what you need you need a story like people will always people will stay for hours if you hook them with a story but if you just if it becomes grinding and, and there's a point too where i think grinding becomes um you're almost it becomes almost like an existential nightmare it's like the um it's like the minecraft joke it's like wait so i'm upgrading my gear to be able to mine better things to continue to mine it's <laughs> yeah. same with like, these things too where it's just like it has to have goals and yeah so th that keeps you interested rather than well why don't i just stay on level one then yeah <laughs> you know why why am i going this and it's like a balancing those two but yeah well time to wrap it up Yay. great games today peril evil magician one evil magician two uh it's great to revisit peril um we'll probably revisit it much later now that we've gone through the whole thing totally wait till it's like almost done or done and then we'll do a, a big full run through and actually try and play it properly <laughs> yeah um without cheating um and great uh great little adventure games evil magician one and two they both have uh great uh strengths yeah yeah and uh let's see what's happening on the next episode next stream oh come on Loading. or not man it's been a tech day hasn't it yeah everything's just like nah 
It's been a tech week, honestly. It's not happening. There we go. Uh, on uh, Friday, we're playing Key Hops, Spider, RPS, Game Catcher 2600, and Sea Wolf. Cool. So they're all kind of small games. That's why there's five of them. Um, and I have Star Crusade down for next Wednesday. Can't remember what that is. It's not even linked. Um, and uh, that's it for next Wednesday. I mean, new games come up all the time. Yep. Or I just go delve into the archives and see what uh, other things you can. We yeah. can we no, can thank bring you up. folks for kicking yeah. around and playing with us. It's so awesome. Only no Sea Wolf. Yes, because that was put out on cartridge. It's like a, a ship shooting game. RPS is rock, paper, scissors. Ah, yeah. <laughs> it's literally, that's what the game is. One or two players on the Atari. See, the hard Funny part about hell. rock, paper, scissors is it's more fun to play with people because there's a psychological yeah. element to yeah. it. So you it, could read the... We'll play it two players. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much, Dan. Uh, yeah, thanks thank for you. everybody for joining in. Dan, Thrust26, MK Smith. Uh, thank you for resubscribing. I supposed to Spartan 581, Ground Trooper, VHZC. Thank you for making your awesome penult game. Not penal, peril. Too many Ps. Um, oh, Six Sweet. Love the Magicians. Yay. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, Six stunning Sweet. work, friends. Sad I couldn't play it for longer. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, Ritual Objects with his... Uh, uh, little magician wizard. So good, and it's exactly the case. Yeah. Uh, Repentless VG, uh, Lem McAllister, lots of chatty, chatty people today. Yeah, Denoid77, Denoid, welcome! Always a Way pleasure. back, didn't see that. Um, oh, uh, Prizrak802. Yeah, it was helping us out name. right at the beginning yeah, with all the out of sync business. Yeah. And, and P1LH4, crazy name, Yo. hard to pronounce. Uh, going back to what, watch what I missed for people without hands. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know what that's in reference for to. thieves. Yes. Psh, gone. Um, so we'll be back on Friday with who is with me on Friday? Oh, Darcy. It is Darcy. So it'll be Darcy on Friday. And thanks for tuning in and uh, playing along with us. And hope you enjoyed the games. And uh, we always hope that they're games that you haven't seen before that may you may want to check out. Um, so we'll see you on Friday and you'll see him on Wednesday. Sounds good. Bye. Bye, friends. everyone. Bye. Oh, where do I turn it off? Uh -huh. There we go. Bye-bye. <laughs>